tail, bud. Watch your tail. What you doing? Uh, uh, uh. Looks good. Hey, make sure that's a charge, I suppose. Okay. Cool. All right. And we're back at it again. Uh, hopefully this time around, uh, we won't be quite as um, derailed as we were uh, in the previous one. Uh, previous stream, I mean. Um, so before we actually get going here, let's check this. Cause we had a lot of uh, stuff that came up. Um, stalker, office loan for robbery. What's this about a stalker? Hmm. Uh, there's just a guy watching a building all day, and another post claims he's pretty high up there. Huh. It's pretty close to the, um... Uh, let's see, uh... I might be a detective, but a detective would be so blatant. Right. That looks pretty close to the same area where, um... Uh, Takin, uh, Kaito were... Whoops. Uh, I'm watching the... Did he just throw a guy? Okay. But where they were watching the um, other gang. I don't know their name right now. Okay. Come on. So yeah, I'm hoping in this stream I'll be able to um, get a lot more stuff done, N namely the plot, because we have been in Chapter 4 now for, what, three or four streams straight? <sighs> it's just, it's definitely a need of like, okay, I really should buckle down the plot here. Oh. Oops. have a different uh wake up EX move but that's okay. That's cool. Game, man, the goddamn combat so fucking tight. Oh, sorry, you know, cussing so much right there, but jeez, the combat feels so good, so good. Man, like if the combat was like this back in uh, uh, the original Judgment, I, I would have had. Very little complaints, I think, with just the level of uh, enemies that would pop up. Is this crazy? Huh? Is it, uh. Talk to this guy? What do I just need to look up? Is this gonna be Ryan? See, he did say that he'd be, uh. around. Oh wait, there's suspicious. That's not Ryan. Hey, what's that guy doing? Maybe he's Excuse the alleged me. stalker? Excuse me, sir, what are you doing there? Ah, are you the police? No, I'm not the police. I'm here because people are talking about you on chatter. 
talking about me on chatter? What's going on? Sir, could you please come down so we can talk? It came down easy enough. If you're not the police, who are you? This is who I am. Yep. You're a detective? There were rumors about a stalker all over social media, so I thought maybe there was something going down. They thought I was a stalker? Oh boy. Well, what have you been doing there all day? I'm the owner of that building over there. My name's Daichi... Kaiba? Kiba? Kiba. Huh. Uh, do you have proof that... Do you have proof you own that building? Sure, right here. Let's be on the home page, see? I see. Yeah, okay. So you were what? Monitoring the building that you yourself own? Why? Well, it's a little complicated, but it seems someone's been breaking into our building. An invisible burglar at that. The invisible burglar. An invisible burglar? What the hell? I gotta ask more about that. Is that be sure? Uh, Kiba, uh, yeah, I keep on saying Kaiba. Uh, Kiba, I'm a detective, so I may be able to help you. If you tell me a little more about this invisible burglar you're trying to catch. I don't know, isn't it pricey to hire a detective? I can't no. pay you much. Don't worry, I won't charge you. I'm curious enough about this to do it pro bono. But if I do solve the case, why don't you consider hiring us in the future, okay? Sounds like a good offer to me. Deal. Now, I should ask uh, Kiba uh, for more details about the case. Okay. Like I said, that's my building, and one of my tenants uh, is a firm. Oh, is a firm. I got is a firm that's running out a whole floor, and there's been a series of burglaries huh. there. It was stolen specifically. Money in the safe was just slowly dwindling. Plus, the employees' wallets were disappearing. Hell, even snacks in the fridge were getting mysteriously huh. eaten. So, a variety of things have been stolen over time. That's strange. Any idea on who the suspect is? Well, the CEO of the firm is convinced it's someone on the outside. He doesn't seem to like the idea that it could be one of his employees. Of course, that's understandable. Okay, um... I see why the tenant's so concerned, but you're going above and beyond by watching the bur watching for the burglar yourself. Is he really going beyond? Uh, it's because I personally guarantee the building's security for my tenants. And now that there have been multiple break-ins, I've been In getting all words. these complaints. Oh, so you want to catch the well, so you want to catch the suspect yourself, and you're willing to watch your building from morning till night to do it. Well, actually, I just started this morning. I can't believe war got around so fast. Still, I uh, still think it was a good idea to guarantee the security of the place. Of course, I mean, if anyone had tried to break in, the security system would have been tripped. I've got security cameras in the hallways, all that stuff, but there's never been any stranger in the footage. If that's the case, maybe it is someone on the inside. Perhaps. Uh, but there was this one incident where the employee... I'm sorry, where the employees were in a meeting and every single one of their wallets was gone. Uh, if it were an inside job, why would everyone's wallets mm. be stolen? Well, potentially to keep, uh, you know, eyes off of anyone inside, right? To fake it? Just saying. It sounds strange at first, but the thief could have... Yeah, actually, that. <laughs> the thief could have taken his own wallet to avoid being suspected. That's true, but apparently they checked everyone's bags right after the theft. Nobody had the stolen wallets. Any possibility they were carried out before the bag check? I don't think so. The security camera in the halls would have caught any employee who was carrying out wallets. In fact, nobody's in the security footage. Yeah, nobody's in the security footage from the time of the theft to the time of the bag check, and they looked around the entire floor but I couldn't see. find the wallets. Let's see, so the possibility the thief uh, was an employee is pretty low. And that's why you're thinking the perp is somehow invisible because nobody showed up on camera? Yes, I know how ridic ridiculous Excuse it me. sounds. Do you mind if I look around that floor myself, Kiba? Look around. Uh, don't, uh, do you think it would yep. help you find the thief? Sure, or at least uh, be useful in some way. Very well, let me ask the tenant. Uh, we got the green light. They want you to conduct an investigation. And I want some water. Hold on. Wonderful. Much, much better. Mm. Glad to hear it. Let me know whenever you're ready. I'll take you I'll take you to the floor in question. Let's yeah. What are we talking about? Let's go. 
Let's go. Uh, ugh. Sakurazaka? I swear the Judgment games have such different names from the Yakuza series. Uh, thank you for allowing us to investigate. I gotta find out who the burglar is, right? Yes, uh, Takayuki Yagami is a great detective. He's going to solve our mystery. Aha, uh -huh, great detective, you say? I certainly will do my best. Please feel free to do what uh, what you need to do for your investigation. I had the employees go on break. Thank you. Can I ask what this company's business is? Consumer credit. I think there was a different firm here before. Were they a new tenant? There was. That was back when uh, the girl thought she could uh, get one over on her boss for sexual harassment. That must mean you have a lot of cash on site. Yes, I'm sure that's what the burglar is after. In fact, money's been stolen from our safe for times already. But I presume the safe is locked and kept secure. Of course. No one outside the company would be able to open it. But supposedly it wasn't an inside job. Excuse the mystery me. deepens. Can you tell me more about precisely when the burglar strikes? It happens late at night after operating hours or very early morning, except when the floor is mostly... Except when the floor is mostly empty because the employees are in a meeting. Where's your conference room? We rent, we rent one out since our office is tiny. It's in the building mm. next door. Interesting. So the burglar attacks not just at night, but also during short, short, sorry, short amounts of time when the floor is effectively unoccupied. Yes, which is really strange because we lock all our doors and we even have security cameras at By the way. Places. Do you have any security cameras in the work area? No, I did consider it, but in the end I decided against monitoring the employees. Even though your safe's been compromised more, like, more than once? I okay. see. I understand that. Well, let me look around the floor. I'll let you know if I find anything. Please do. Thank you uh, so much. Okay. Invisible burglar, eh? Okay. Let's look at every nook and cranny on this floor and report to Sakura Zaka with any conclusion I can make. My detective gadgets might come in handy. Might. What the hell are all these? Is this a bug bomb? It looks like the kind that produces smoke. Yeah, sadly we seem to have some in the attic. Big ones, too. I thought I could set it off when the employees weren't around, but I totally forgot about it. Obviously, I'd, I'd have to stop company operations while I release the smoke true and these things produce a lot of it i would like to use it soon though we've just been so busy it was never a good time yeah roaches in the attic can be some pretty annoying office mates oh that's that's pretty loud like from something really big how could it be roaches hey hmm? food garbage it looks like what? Again? I've been telling everyone to put their trash in the trash cans. Again. So this happens often? It's been happening uh, more often recently. It seems we have some untidy people. But you don't know exactly who. That or you got some shit. Crazy ass shit going up here in your attic, man. Suspicious. Wait, what's that? Handprints? Why would uh, there be human handprints up there? Something the matter, Yagami? Uh... Sakurazaka, what's the inspection hatch? I'm sorry, that's the inspection hatch for the ceiling, right? There looks to be handprints on it. What the? Well, that's kind of creepy. Mind if I open it? Not at all. All right. Now then. Huh, one open. Maybe something stuck in there. That's strange. It opened when a serviceman came here not too long ago. sound. I don't know if it's a mouse or a roach, but it's got to be a huge one. Maybe it's time for me to use that gadget. There it is. Someone's stomach? Huh? What's that noise? A mouse stomach growling? No, no way uh, would a mouse stomach sound like that, which means... So many bugs, huh? Are you kidding? Actually? 
I don't know. Maybe. Eh, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> he flips it. That's cute. Okay, uh, here, let me go back to this. What's this? Oh, okay. A lot of food bags around, huh? Uh, this looks like a solidly built safe. Yes, yeah, so our security is top notch. Clearly not. But someone still manages to snatch money from it every now and then? Yes, it, it is puzzling. Who knows the passcode? A limited number of people like myself and my secretary, and I can't imagine any of them stealing. Okay. What the? Suspicious. Uh, you have a refrigerator. Yes, for the employees. Oh, that reminds me. Some of the employees get their food stolen, too. I heard their snacks were eaten. Yes, like the pudding or ice cream cups or even bento box leftovers. Guess the burglar works up an appetite while he's robbing the place. Uh, something weird is going on. I think I'm crashing into it. Yeah. Okay, just... Uh, hello. A katana? Oh, that's related to a hobby of mine. What is this, a Yakuza office? Is it real? You bet, it cost an arm and a leg at, at the pawn shop. So it's very expensive, and yet it wasn't stolen. Huh. Huh, good point. I never even thought about that. It, uh, it could easily be sold for good money at the pawn shop, so why uh, why wasn't it stolen? Dog me, have you, have you finished looking around? I think so, and I think I have all the clues I need. I already got paid? Shit. I think I've got a good idea now. The food garbage on the floor. Employees leftovers and desserts being eaten. The ceiling hatch not opening for some reason. The strange sounds coming from the attic. The expensive katana that was never stolen. I think I know who the invisible burglar might be. Excuse me. Uh, Sakurazaka. K Kiba, I know who the culprit is. Really? Wow! So who was our invis yep. invisible burglar? The invisible burglar was... Ghost. Just go up in the attic, yeah. The culprit is still up at the ceiling as we speak. Yep. Huh? Right now? Yes, just listen. Listen. What was that? That sound? I thought it was just a big no. cockroach. It's too big to be a roach. I think the burglar is living in your attic. The burglar yep. lives here? Correct. That's why he had... That's why he had no need to go outside and why uh, he was never caught on camera. I'm betting he took the cash and the wallets up to the attic. And the only reason the expensive katana wasn't stolen was because he couldn't take it up. If I had this mean? right. Well, uh, it'd be hard to maneuver it through the tiny inspection hatch. Um, and if the attic ceiling is low, it wouldn't even fit up there. Oh, yeah, I see that. Sort of, I mean, like, he could just take the katanas, like, off of the rack, right? Uh, I'm gonna guess the food went missing because the burglar came down whenever he got hungry. He's probably been using the toilet on the floor as well, just like any tenant. <laughs> My goodness, so the burglar has uh, just always been here, even yep. as we were working? Yep, he must be one quiet fellow to avoid getting caught. As for, as for who exactly it is, well, why don't we have him come out right now? Have him come out? How? Hmm. Bug bomb him? I can think of a few ways. We might, we might be able to use that. Yeah. Well, actually, what else do I have here? Yeah, I just you know, stabbed the ceiling, too. But yeah, bug bombs. Although, frankly, I could kill them. Let's use this to smoke them out. The bug bomb? Oh, yeah. I get it. Everyone's out of the office now anyway, so let's uh, take take out one giant cockroach. It says it's harmless to... It, really? Okay. It says it's harmless to humans. I'm sure it won't kill them. <laughs> well, now I'm looking forward to how this turns out. Mm -hmm. ah! Is is that supposed to be like the old maintenance guy who we had to fight when we originally stuck in here? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy smokes! <laughs> Damn it! No way. Ugh. Just as we suspected, we'd smoked out a giant roach. Uh, huh? Wait, you're Mita, aren't you? Hmm? Hi there, sir. 
We know each other? Yes, this is Garu Mita. I asked him to leave the company about huh? half a year ago. Leave the company? So he used to work here? Mita, I want an explanation. Why were you living in the attic? Because after I was fired, there was no way I could pay the rent. And I knew at my home, I'd get hounded by the debt collector. So I guess it's like the same guy. Huh? Seriously? Seriously? Yep, he said seriously too. Uh, you've been living up there this whole time since you were let go? Yes, the night I was fired, I decided to stay and never leave the office. That way, the debt collector can't find me. I, uh, I can eat anything in the fridge, and I can stay warm thanks to the heater. I don't believe this. And there was never a need for you to break into this office because you just never went outside, huh? That's why the security camera in the hallway never caught you and why the alarm never went off. Well, of course. As great as our security system is, I can't do anything if there's no actual hey. burglary. Were you also the one stealing wallets and taking money from the safe? Uh, you did know the passcode, hey. didn't you? Hey, Spiggy, where is the money? It's up in the attic. I couldn't take it out of here because I knew I'd be caught on camera. Bring the money down now. I want to check if it's all here. Yes, sir. Did you count the money, Sakurazaka? Yep, it's all there. I found all the employees' wallets, too. By the way. Glad to hear it. Now then, what next? Should we call the police? Yes. No. Okay. No, we got the money back, so we don't need to get the police involved. I'm sure they also had their IDs and shit in there, too, though, right? That probably cost them something to get replaced. Not to mention just the general inconvenience. Anyway... And the firing, it really was uh, because of things the company did, not him. I actually have been feeling pretty bad about it. What? Alright, that's your decision, Sakurazaka. Thank you for not calling the cops, sir. And I'm sorry. Mia, I had a reason for letting you go instead of someone else uh, when times got tough here. I let you go because I was sure you could land another job. You're still young and full of potential. Full of potential? Me? But all I did was make mistakes. Only because you carry the workload of three people, it was no wonder you made mistakes. You really think that? Yes, of course, that doesn't change the fact that you are and the company... I'm sorry, that you and the company have done selfish things. And it may upset you to hear this coming from the guy who fired you, but you can rebuild your life. I know you can. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. Even though he's got virtually no assets... Thank you very much, Yagmi. I'm glad hmm. our case was resolved. Sure was a surprising one. I never would have uh, thought a former employee would stay in the attic after he got fired. Uh, I think I never would have noticed. How? <laughs> I think just the smell alone to give it away. Uh, this isn't much at all, but it's a token of our gratitude. Did I get paid again? Thank you. I better get going now. Our agency is always looking for work, so if you have any issues, don't hesitate to reach out. Absolutely. I'll let everyone know about the great detective, Takayuki Yagami. Alright, that was simple enough. Oh. Cool. Alright, um... We do have a couple more things on chatter, though, don't we? Oh, right there. Think of it, I, uh, I saw the end of that office alone before I shoot myself, and I'm talking about it. Alright, yeah, let's, uh, let's head on over, shall we? Sorry. Let me check this real fast. Got anything uh, good here? Coffee. Nah, I'm really not seeing much here. I mean, we got the food stuff, of course. Bento. Um, you know, let's grab that. Arigato. Grab that and, uh, you know, see if there's anything that we can do here. 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot they. The Don Quixote got uh, axed, and now the Camaro Police Station took its place to a giant fucking building. I'm actually able to go in there though, right? I'll tell you what, let's actually um, do what I you know, kind of want to do here and actually push the story some. You want to see where this goes. Kaito-san, I'm back. Kaito-san? Oh, uh, hey. Did you see that email from Tsukumo? Huh? Uh, it wasn't that long ago. It's something you gotta see, though. What is it? Something happened? It's the murder footage. Oh, Miko shit. Shiba's murder ended up on the internet. It's going viral on all the social media sites. You gotta forgive me. I'll do anything you want. I didn't know you'd do it. I swear. Toshiro Kun was okay. I didn't think. I didn't know he'd kill himself. I really didn't know. I swear I'll try to make it up to him somehow. I'll spend the rest of my life making up for it. What the hell? Stop it, stop it, stop it. for this, doesn't he? They already found him guilty, and that's the whole reason he couldn't have killed Mikoshiba, right? But if that's the case, what the hell is this? One way or another, either this thing is staged, or his entire alibi was a massive cover-up. They can't both be true. But there's something I just can't shake. If you want my opinion on it, this looks real. I need to have another chat with Ahara. Damn it. I'm not going to let him get away with this. Hey, my immediate thought comes to plastic surgery and all that, because that's definitely something that uh, these games uh, have done before plenty of times. Unfortunately, mirror face is a real thing. I doubt that's it. I really hope that's not it. Chapter 5, Double Jeopardy. Ooh. Curious, very curious, though. So the murder footage is already making the rounds online. I don't think it's showing up on TV, though. Yeah, the net's a mess right now. It's all unsubstantiated rumors and unverified sources. Typical, really. An ex-cop going from by-the-book sex offender to vigilante avenger overnight is prime forum drama. Sentiment seems to be swinging in favor of Ehara, but there's plenty of folks on the fence about it, too. 
reactions have been all over the board. Do we know if that video is authentic? I mean, CG has come a long way, right? Oh, or perhaps a deep fake. That is plausible. AI has reached the point where it can generate pretty convincing facsimiles. Someone even made a video that made it look like the U.S. president was saying a bunch of crazy stuff. And that's just the tip yeah. of the iceberg. Deep fakes are only getting more authentic looking. Can't guys like you tell if a video is fake or not, though? Aren't there any signs? Oh, there are several telltale signs of a video being doctored. So I ran every check I could think of on the murder footage. And wouldn't you know it, nothing came up. Most likely, we're looking at the real deal. Most likely? Well, no one can claim with absolute certainty that it wasn't altered in some way. Which means it's not substantial enough to prove Ihara's guilt. At least not in a court of law. Gotcha. Do you know when and where the footage was uploaded? It was posted sometime last night, but the source is too hard to pin down. The uploaders spread it across multiple servers overseas, in a well-concerted effort to hide their tracks. Makes sense. But I'll bet it ultimately came from Mikoshiba's killers, no matter how real or fake it is. How do you figure? Think about it. No one could have staged that unless they knew the specifics of how Mikoshiba was killed. From how he was positioned to little things like the blood on the ground, every last detail was just as the detectives described it. That's a good point. All this browsing's really taken a toll on the old pinky. Why would the killers go through the trouble of spreading this footage? What good would it serve them? Causing a public uproar, obstructing the investigation, whatever the case, I still have some uh, interviewing to Looks do. like another visit to Ehara might clear things up. You should ask Shirosaki-sensei about it. Yeah, that was my thought too. It's more and more curious by the moment, eh? I will check the board. Okay. Kaito? Uh, let me get this straight. Ehara went and felt a lady up on the day Mikoshiba got killed on purpose? Oh, if right. that's the case, why the hell would he upload a murder confession after the fact? Is he trying to get caught? Only Ehara could answer that one for you. I want to ask him that question myself. So, we're off to see Saori-san then? Yep. I... <sighs> Okay, no, the biggest question, I guess, is why are we going to such crazy lengths and why is it being protected so hard by these unknown masked figures? Right? Like, clearly there's got to be some bigger uh, conspiracy or reason for it all. Uh... You know, we're just waiting for that shoe to drop. Because otherwise, right now, it's just like, it, it, none of it makes a whole lot of sense. Not at all. Cats, Kaito. Hello. It's spooky. A name, huh? Uh, let's just give Spooky some food. Uh, how about some chicken? <laughs> My popularity's got 5,000. Damn. Well, looks like I got a present. Oh, sh. Damn. Cool! Make cat friends, Kaito! Let's just keep it going. <laughs> he is throwing his friend. Holy shit!
Alright, yeah, let's, um... Uh... Oh my god. Calm down. Calm down the fights. I know I said I was having fun, but... I do gotta get over to Sailor's sometime today. Oh, that's anime as hell. What the hell? Look, guys! This whole... What is going on? Who animated up this freaking building? That could be fun. Like, they got rid of the burger joint that was over here. For Anime Town. I'm so confused. What is this? Kaito, what is this? What the hell? I'm just deeply distracted by this. That's okay, yeah, I'm still got a smile burger over there. Alright, alright. What the hell? Too fast. Let's stop there, grab a bite, and uh Check with Sayori. I'm sure she's probably pissed. Irasaymase. Uh, what have you got? The, I can already get the Legend Smile set. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty tasty. Thanks. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou indeed. Okay. Sayori, Genda, Hoshino? How are we doing? Oh, hold the door, please. Mafuyu? Mafuyu? You're here? It's been too damn long, Mafuyu chan. Yeah. By any chance, Yagami kun, are you working on a case for salary? A video got leaked. It depicted a man committing a murder. Tokyo District Prosecutor Mafuyu Fuji. Mafia is a public prosecutor for the Tokyo office. She's also best friends with Sayori ever since college. Uh, two talented lady hotshots of the law on opposing sides of the courtroom. Apparently, they have a bit of a family. Are you hear about the Ahara case, too? Of course. The prosecutor's office is in total chaos right now, especially the higher ups. I'll bet. After all, they're the ones who pushed for Ahara's battery conviction. If that video is real, that would mean Ahara got them to hand him a slap on the wrist instead of a murder conviction. Yes. And it's not like the prosecution can say, Sorry, Your Honor, we'd like a do-over, after the fact. To make matters worse, everything leading up to the trial was broadcast all over the news. Changing our tune now would undermine public trust. That's for sure. So, for the time being, our department is trying to predict how the defense will approach the situation. Hence why they sent me here to check in on my good friend Salary. Totally no strings attached. <laughs> well, that clears up a lot. Hmm. Howdy. There you kids are. Figured you had to show up sometime. Mafia, you? you're caught up in this too? Yeah, she ran into us downstairs. I'm sure you can work out that I'm here to spy on you. But wouldn't you like to know what we're up to as well? Are you sure that's your only motive coming here? Sorry? Something like a professional excuse to see Yagami-san? <laughs> In your dreams? I had no idea Yagami-kun was involved until just now. All right. I'll accept that. For now. <laughs> Gotta say, I miss this little banter. Hmm. Needless to say, our office is going through this footage with a fine-tooth comb. That said, they've already determined their stance. They've deemed it an unreliable source and therefore useless as evidence. Basically, they want it to look like it was considered and already thrown out. Huh? So, they're not gonna verify the video? Not even question Ahara about Mikoshiba? Nothing? Nope. 
not after it was proven in court that Ahara committed sexual battery on October 7th. I mean, wouldn't you say a conviction has a certain finality to it? Besides, there's no, no way Ehara could have murdered Mikoshiba within that limited time span. Right. Which means the murder video doesn't really add up, does it? What are you getting at? I'm saying the prosecution believes the video has been falsified. Special effects, CGI, whatever it is, we're not buying it. Huh. Furthermore, the prosecutor pushing that stance was the one who handled Ehara's trial. And that is? His name is Sadao Takano. He was the one gunning the hardest for Ahara the first time around, especially considering his officer status. He kept insisting justice be served, which got the public behind him rather quickly. He certainly looked the part of the people's prosecutor, grilling Ahara in court. So what you're saying is, Takano could never accept anything but Ahara's original sentence. Since this footage of the murder contradicts that finding, he just thinks it's a sham. Yes, and he'd add that a fair trial's result can't be challenged by some video on the internet. Well, who could honestly trust a system that changes its mind so easily? Both the prosecutor's office and the court are beholden to the case as Takano Kun presented it. But that's just sweeping the issue under the rug. It has a domino effect, too. The police are beholden to the verdict we got, so their hands are tied. How? This applies to both Tokyo and Kanagawa. Really? Why is that? Supposedly, they don't want to get involved with Ehara until they're sure the video is real. They come in with a list of questions about the murder. It'll show that doubt's being cast on the original ruling. Yeah, but no one can prove that the video's real. Right. There's no way to verify the legitimacy of an untraceable video. But if the police aren't allowed to see Ahara, he'll never even become a suspect in the murder. That means he's untouchable. Exactly. None of the detectives are happy about that. Especially down in Kanagawa. Their job is to bring in a suspect, but their leads are all ending up at the same dead end. Video footage of a murder preventing a police investigation instead of starting one. What an absurd situation. I, seriously, like this, the, like, this just feels weird that we can't have him convicted of a, or at least have him under investigation for another crime. It's like, yes, he committed uh, the sexual battery against the woman uh, October 7th, but we still don't have a firm date as to when um, not Ihara, uh, but when Ihara, supposedly Ihara, uh, committed this murder on, uh, Mikushima. Until recently, people were lining up to bring Ihara to justice. Yet somehow his involvement in a murder totally derailed that. Don't be so surprised. No cop would ever want to undermine a ruling based on their own findings. Anyone who wants to go against the grain's gonna need hard evidence on their side. So the case goes cold, all to save face for the court and the prosecution. If Ahara really did commit murder, it'll have been the perfect crime. This debacle only serves as proof. True. It would turn the trial into a farce. There's no way we're letting this go. But wouldn't challenging this mean going up against the entire system? Yeah. That scare ya? Not at all. In fact, I was just thinking, we're the only ones who could take a case like this. Ha! <laughs> That's the good shit, kid. This whole time, we've been writing off Ahara as a convicted sexual predator. But it's looking more and more likely the court played right into his hand. As for me, I'm done being played for a fool. Then you've heard what I came to say. And with that, I will be on my way. But if you need help, just ask. I think we're good for now, but thanks. That did clear up a lot. No problem. See ya. Bye, Muff for you. Man, was Mafuyu chan cuter than ever or what? Think maybe it's time to light that flame again, huh? How many times do I have to tell you it's not like that? Why? <laughs>
I don't know why it's so cagey about it. Yagami-san, we should go see Ihara as soon as possible. I wonder what he'll have to say about the video. I mean... Would he... have you even seen it? He's in... prison slash jail right now, right? Mafia pretty popular now, you know? A looker like her? I bet criminals line up for their day in court. <laughs> Good. Loosen up. All right. Good stuff. Say all right. Anyway, what I'd like to do is ask Ahara about that video face to face. Any chance we could see him again? I was actually about to suggest that. Uh, one moment. It's from Ahara's prison. What? Hello. Yes, this is Shirosaki. Yes, I can talk. His prison? So he's not dead? Why would they call us directly? Guess we'll find out. Understood. I appreciate the candor. That was one of the prison wardens. He was asked to convey a message from Ahara. About what? In short, he won't be speaking with his representation any further. You're joking. Oh, shit. To be more specific, he said he's not taking any more questions. It seems he fully grasps the situation, even in custody. How... how is that even possible? I'm guessing the murder footage that was uploaded yesterday was also planned out in advance. That or Ahara's conspirators have to be filling him in. How else could he predict we'd try to see him again so soon? I can see either of those scenarios making sense. But only someone on the force can be leaking insider information to him like that. Damn. This shit's turning into a full-blown conspiracy, eh, Tuck? Whatever it is, it's screwing up our plans. Yeah, the timing couldn't have been worse. Now what are we supposed to do? Come on, there are plenty of leads that don't involve grilling the culprit. Yeah? I'd like to hear them. Well, if it were me, I'd start with Sauriku. Okay... The first thing I want to learn is whether Ehara is really the murderer in this footage. Given the entire sexual battery incident as an alibi, there is no way he could have murdered Mikoshiba. However, this new footage knocks the bottom out of that premise. Right. Either his alibi or the murder footage. One of the two's been fabricated. The groping or the murder. Right now, which one do we doubt more? Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. It's... Again, because we know that people can just change their faces in uh, <laughs> Yakuza Town, both events can uh, be real, so... Well, hold on. What if they're both real? Both his alibi and the video? In that case, let's start with the murder. After committing the murder in Ijincho, Ehara would have had 13 minutes to make it to Ikebukuro Station. Ijin Cho and Ikebukuro are roughly 30 kilometers apart. It's possible if he traveled 140 kilometers an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Is it though? Ehara would have had to change out of his bloody clothes. So he probably ought to shave those 13 minutes down. On top of that, he was traveling during rush hour. It just doesn't seem feasible. Okay, then let's rule that out. I'd say we're making some progress here, guys. <laughs> Boy. You're really reaching for that silver lining, aren't you? Regardless of who actually murdered Mikoshiba, we have two conflicting accounts here. Which one was faked? I mean, here's the thing. With the groping incident, I've been feeling that that one's been weird for a while now. Because supposedly Ihara had been... Um, rubbing the woman's butt for six minutes straight and she didn't say anything then it was only after once they were on the platform that she was suddenly like yo uh pervert groper boom so that seems weird to me i think we should revisit the harassment case when the sentence came down in court no one expected it to end up as a murder alibi Plus, everyone suspected Ahara was working alone. He may have not been. All this makes a huge difference.
No one would suspect a train groping to involve accomplices or alibis. The search for evidence wouldn't be as intense as for a murder. But the entire incident was caught on camera, top to bottom. There's more than enough physical evidence, too. Then we'll need to verify each and every aspect of the case. Okay, what first? Should we investigate the crime scene again? Maybe we'll no. discover something new if we check out the station during the crime's actual time frame. No, I think we saw everything we could there. Talk to the victim. Actually, if we're reviewing evidence, we could do that from right here, couldn't we? What catches your eye specifically? I ask because fabricated evidence would likely show signs of tampering. This would prove Ahara's alibi doesn't hold up. Time to really scrutinize this case. What evidence was Ahara wrought relying on to falsify his alibi? Ooh. Hmm. Security footage. Train car. I'm surprised I can't pick the victim directly, actually. Um, security train car. Get this. This part's still getting to me. The security cameras inside the train caught the act on tape. So Ahara was caught red-handed? Quite. Once he was detained, police detected fibers of the victim's underwear on his hand. That makes for the most conclusive evidence in a battery case. And there's no way he just bumped into her or something, right? The victim wore a knee-length skirt, so the assailant had to expend considerable effort to reach her undergarments. That's not bumping into someone, Yagami-san. The victim reported feeling physical contact right as the train began moving. She said she spent her six-minute ride to Shinjuku in shock and revulsion. Could you describe the victim for me? She's an office worker married to an industrial designer. Also has a six-year-old son. Full name, Yui Mamiya. 30 years old. A wife and mother. Perhaps if we talk to Mamiya-san directly, she could yes. give us more insight than that video. She may even recall something none of us know, upon learning Ahara's alibi might have been fabricated. That's a good plan. We'll finally have a fresh source of info. In that case, give me a moment so I can get a meeting set up. We should have her address and other information somewhere on file. Bear in mind, Mamiya-san was the victim here. As the assailant's defense, I doubt we'll get a warm welcome. That's pretty standard for us, I'd say. Nobody rolls out the red carpet for a detective, right? Yeah. Say, Kaito-san, it looks like we've got some free time, so let's say we grab some food. Now that you mention it, I am getting hungry. But yeah, it's like, I, I do get it, like, sure, um, in all reality, um, if that's happening, someone might... I got paid? I got paid a little. But... In all reality, if it, if that's really happening, yeah, uh, someone might not want to act or such. But, it, it, yeah, it just seems a little weird. And, yeah, it's like, ah, oh, well, he had the fibers on his hand or whatnot. It's like, okay, but what if this whole thing was a setup, right? I brought my own food. Unless I'm working at the courthouse, I always bring a bento. Thanks to Mom. Nice. Say, Yagami, you sure you don't want to take up your old post again? <laughs> I've got nothing against detectives, but the energy here is so different when you're around. All right. I do like Gendo who keeps trying. <laughs> we should have the victim's personal information somewhere on file here. I'll need some time to find it. Feel free to go eat with Kaito-san. Want some sweets? I'll, I'll pick you up something. All right, Kaito, we're taking the... No, not taking the Express. Damn it. Huh. You think they want something? Bet it's not a friendly hello. They do look like they mean business. This Arcade's idea of an ambush? How basic. Kaito-san, a lot of goons. There's more. Over there, too. Same losers from yesterday. 
Guess they want to settle the score. Looks like they rounded up some buddies and waited for us to show. Well, whatever the hell they want, let's not get Genda Sensei and them involved. Follow me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks like we get to kick some more ass. Hopefully, we get the bomb ass music too. Uh, but let's uh, head over a little ways. Oh, that's all good. No, you speed up. I was going to say this. Come on. I'm getting fed up with this shit. <gasps> Why haven't they made a move yet? It's like they're waiting for something. Whatever it is, they're taking their sweet ass time. Hey! Quit dicking around and come get some! What the hell? They're just gonna keep stalking us? Nope. Thanks for waiting, assholes! Oh, <laughs> shit! I nice sure. Let me guess. You're RK too? Bastard went straight for our heads. Are you nuts, guy? Shut your mouth! Okay. Let's disarm him what first. Where's he at? Where's the other guy? That's one down. Yeah, come on. Not out of the woods just yet. Why are they backing off? Damn. They really went all out on the backup. Is the whole town RK now or something? Doc, we should probably get gone before the cops roll in. Why? It's not our fault we're getting jumped. <laughs> Please let me look at the squirrel. Damn it! Their plan was to come at us in waves. I've not had it with this crap. Yeah. At this rate, we won't be meeting Sari san and the others. Wouldn't want to drag them into this. Good point. So why not hit Arcade at home? Yeah? Okay. Why not? Soma and Akatsu are at the top, and they probably remember me. I'll just ask them real nice to keep their goons off our back. Okay. Unless you want to keep dealing with these fucking scrubs. I'm fine with making a house call. Any idea where it is? Yeah, a club in the back of Theater Square. It used to be arcade exclusive. Nowadays, I hear they let in thugs from all over. I admit, I'm kind of curious. Okay, bud. Oh, no, no, no. We'll fight that. Come on. Here we go. Good stuff. 
That looks so stylish. Really, guys? All right, cool. Let's roll. Let's roll guns. I'm up. Okay. What is it? Uh, here, let's get some food real fast. Bud. Oh my god, this food looks so fucking good. Oh. Star, pretty tasty. Thanks. Please stop making the food look so good. God, I love this. The guy's everywhere. I don't mean that sarcastically. I really do. Oops. Oh, cool. Come back. Fighters after seeing that, really, but guys? come on. Let's hit it. All right. Um, are they over in an the freaking anime district? What's going on? district over there. This is it, Tuck. Get ready to meet some shady people. Okay. Yeah, shady is definitely the operative word here. Can't imagine this place gets a lot of foot traffic. Who knew an entrance to the underground was right here in broad daylight? All right. Let's get in there and be done with this. Hey, who the hell are you two? Got some invitations? The Yagami Detective Agency doesn't need it. Say, is Akutsu or Soma around? Detectives, huh? Hey. Their problem here? This is a public business, isn't it? About time you showed up. We've been expecting you. One second, sorry. Let me hit the bathroom, I'll be right back and we can 
get this show on the road. Okay, sorry about the momentary break, but let's get back to it. <laughs> Nothing like running into an old friend. You want to talk to Akutsu-san, fine. But only Kaito gets in. Why? See, we all knew the Yakuza out in the cold would come around to us once the Tojo clan cleared out. <laughs> know what makes us such a hit? Who gives a shit? We got a <laughs> system fleshed out. Your average gangbanger starts at rank F. But an ex-Yakuza, a Tojo head at that, fast track right to B rank. Oh, and just for you, Kaito-san. The boss says he'll start you out at A. Yeah, I'm sure you've got your pick of the chumps. But I'm here to talk to a fucking adult man. So get stepping and take me to Akutsu. Spoken like a man with some balls. I can see why Akutsu's had his eye on you. What? So I really have to just wait in the lobby? You should thank your lucky stars you're not dead yet. I don't know about this, Kaito-san. What if you need backup? Going into gang turf without backup, that's too dangerous even for Kaito. We have no clue how many members are back there or what Relax, they're doing. Relax, talk. All I gotta do is talk man-to-man -man with Akutsu real quick, and we'll be out of here. You heard the man. Now come on. Well, if it's gonna be that quick, I'll just wait right here. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Alright, come on, let me in. I'm cool. You're shit for business. Ah, oh, come on. You're shit Don't for you want to be friends? <laughs> wanna talk? We can hang out. Hmm? It's been 10 minutes since Kaito went in. I have no clue what's going on. And there's no sign of him returning. Guess hey, that uh, means. Think I could use your restroom? There's one inside, right? Go shit on the cement for all I care. Restrooms are for guests only. Hmm. So, huh? you and RK2? I take it business is good lately. Oh, hell yeah. Recruits are swarming in by the dozen. If you're looking for quick cash and combo, Joe. RK's where it's at. Plenty of hotties, too. <laughs> wow. And all you do is fool around on your phone. Talk about living on Easy Street. Screw you. Hey, not my fault they don't loop you into the good jobs. Bet those only go to the A-rank guys. You must be, what, F? F-minus? The fuck did you just say? Oh, did I offend you? Sorry. Guess some gangbangers are softies. I'll show you who's soft, asshole! Oh. Sorry. Too easy. Getting split up from my buddy does make me kind of an asshole. Maybe clean off the blood a little? Uh, I never should have left. let Kaito come in here alone. I have to find him now. Not like sitting around would uh, do the case any good anyway. Although, uh, you know, any kind of a wound right above, right at the forehead's gonna All right, let's go. bleed her one way or another. Oh, we're sneaking! Uh, stealth. 
Metal Gear. First, I need to find Kaito. He's supposed to be talking to uh, Akutso? A Akutso, right now. I, uh, and are these guys arcade? Be a pain to take them on now. Besides, if I make a scene, who knows what might happen to Kaito. I need to find a way around without getting noticed by him. Let's look in that room. Sure. Power. Liquor. Safe. Safe. Looks like no one's in here. Uh, let's see if uh, anything in here can do me some good. Safe. Suspicious. Safe. Wish I could see what's inside, but without the passcode, all I, all I can do is stare at the thing. What the? Whoa. All these drinks are crazy expensive. This place is backed by RK, which means, uh, which must mean they're loaded. Okay. Suspicious. Oh, a breaker panel. Maybe I can cut the lights with this? Make it easier to sneak around? Eh, no good. I don't know which ones to flip. I don't need to make it any harder to find Kaito either. Uh, the vents seem pretty loud in here, but where's the air coming from? What the? Huh? What's that? I will fit in the ventilation duct. Maybe I'll end up getting me where I need to be. But even I can't reach that high. Anything I can use to get a leg up? <laughs> yeah. Ah, this looks like the perfect size. Let's give it a try. Here we go. That ought to do it. Easy enough, right? There's that normal what the damn code is for this? No. Oh. Well. Oh. Oh well. Maybe later. Should be able to reach the duct like this. Time for some duct work. Oh, she's getting really metal gear up in this bitch, aren't we? Cool. <gasps> Your stuff. Where'd that new guy get taken to? Uh, I heard Akutsu's son wanted to see him. For real? Uh, so. Was he taken to the VIP room then? Sounds like it. One sec. I see, it looks like Kaito was taken to the <sighs> VIP room. Even I've never gotten in there. What makes him such a big shot? Yep, VIP room seems to be that way. All right, let's check it out. Okie dokie. Huh. Want. Item. Okay. Uh, there's a bartender. I guess he's just setting up. Maybe it's just from up here, but he kind of looks like me. Am I going to have to play bartender? Just had an idea. Let's see if I can track that guy down. Okay. Is he? Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Let's keep slinking our way through the vents here. Just gonna keep pressing forward here. I mean, like, we got nowhere else to go, right? <sighs> Sorry, man. Take a quick breather. Hmm. All right. Not bad. I might actually pull this off. How you doing? <gasps> oh, bronze plate. Huh? What's up? Love the working mirrors. Um, I. Hey, uh, can I ask you a question? What's inside the safe in the back room? Is he talking about the safe in the other room? <laughs> Who knows? All I do know is that it's locked. But I heard once you hit rank C, they tell you the passcode. Oh, I didn't know that. 
Oh, I think I might know the passcode, actually. Huh? What do you mean? I overheard some rank B dude talking over the phone. <laughs> he said the safe opens with the numbers that represent RK. Numbers that represent RK? You mean like the amount of members? Maybe? I have no idea. But he did say that R is 18. R is 18? <laughs> I don't get it at all, man. Okay. Uh, okay. Put them in that order. Add the numbers or put them in that order. I don't know until we try. Now I'm curious. Uh, damn, what the hell is K actually? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let me. Uh, hmm. Hold on. Okay. Wow. It opened. Guard pants double S. What? What's this do? Fifteen percent. Damn. Hell yeah. I got some nice new pants. I'll take it. Well, that was easy enough, I suppose. Appreciate that, fellas. Alright. Let's head on down. Try not to break our cover while we're at it. Hmm. Great. Even more of them hanging around. If I get surrounded here, it's all over. Better be extra careful if I have to deal hey, with any of you them. There. Hey, you uh, there! Hey! Yes? Can I help you? You better stop fucking around! Didn't I ask you for another round? Huh? Another round? You forgot my order already? I want my bottle! Y yeah Yeah, I'll get right on that. Wait a minute! You know what? Fuck the bottle. How about you just mix me a cocktail? Oh, but of course. <laughs> I guess I don't have a, any choice but to make this guy's drink. Hang on, maybe this is just what I needed. If I put him under the table with some strong booze, I can cl I can clear out of here. It's worth a shot anyway. Hope you know some hangover cures, fellas. Okay. I'll try it. I don't really know what kind of booze is going to knock him out, though. Just QT. Shake, shake, shake. Here, sir. Okay. The hell was in that? Huh, actually managed to get through that somehow. My disguise worked against the one guy, uh, but that guard looks harder to trick. I won't be able to get into the VIP room unless I do something about him. I should lure him into the shadows on the other side and take him out there. But that means I'll have to cut across the floor. Gotta be careful about this. Okay. You sleep tight, buddy. Okay. Throw some stuff. So anyway, let's uh Oh, screw if I get too close. No no no, we're okay. works. Let's find out. That's a good order. Order, 
Oh, oh shit. Oh god. Retry. Okay. Well, damn it. Sneak mission failed there. Alright, let's just try that again though. Well. Nothing? Certainly got more than enough of it. That's fine, you just go about your business. Right, we'll take him down again. And we'll see if there's anything I can do about the big guy from here then. said no. I don't know why the hell I want to change the difficulty here. Alright, let me see. Do you want to just uh, grab this guy? No. It's kind of weird that uh, I don't have the option to do anything with him there. Boing. Maybe if we... Uh... Let's just go ahead and start taking them out. Ah, ah. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe. That's a good boy. Um, right, that's the way we came. Oh, okay, he does like move. I see. Yeah, sure. Fall. Wait for you to move a little bit. That'll work. Nighty night. Take a nap, bud. Okay, where you at? I can't tell. Is he facing the stairs or? Like he was, damn it. Okay. None. Yeah. Not too worried about losing a couple bucks. That's fine. Mother Yare. Hold on. Let's see if I can get whatever that is here. Hopefully this guy doesn't get froggy. Oh, circuit. Uh, what's up? Well, you're gonna get fired because you're the one guy who didn't know. Sh you know, all your buddies getting taken out. I hate to say it, Akutsu. I'm in a price bracket you couldn't afford if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm not saying you'd need to call it quits on the detective gig you've got going, Kaito-san. You can just give us a hand, help us out a bit when RK needs some real muscle on the field. That a fucking joke? On what planet would I sign up for more busy work? Think you might want to tone it down there, big guy? I've got my boys in the room. Being talked to like this isn't a good look. Why would you care how you look? You're a bunch of damn Yakuza. You and Soma are picking up the Tojo clan scraps, yeah? Or do you have a real plan? We'd have the manpower if we wanted to. With all your washed up Yakuza and punk ass kids? I don't see it happening, man. What are you fucking thinking? Exactly why we need more guys like you. Help me show this crew how the big boys roll. 
I need some authority on this to get it built the right way. So you want me on as a drill sergeant for scumbags? Count me out. Kamurocho's underground river of cash is still flowing, but there's no more Tojo clan upstream to collect it all. There's no more rules. We can run this town however the fuck we want. And once we've got ours, we can slip back into civilian lives to live it up clean as a whistle. You want to be a civilian again? You're kidding. Oh, yeah. Want to have the cash to buy your favorite store? Pop out a couple of kids and settle down with a family? Never would have been possible in the Yakuza life. Well, why the fuck would you need me to do that? After you step into the shadow of the underworld, you never really escape from those chains. Don't sell me your bullshit like I'm one of your fucking brats. Huh. Sounds to me like your whole damn pitch just ran out of gas. Go out there and build your dream gang if you want. I don't give a shit. That said, if you keep bugging me about this shit, I'm gonna make sure you regret it. Keep your fucking distance from us. Did you say... us? Are you refusing to join up because you have a partner? Bring Yagami along for all I care. Did you hear a word of what I just said? I'd reconsider that stance if I were you. If you aren't coming along as a friend, then you're my enemy. I don't take work from assholes. Have it your way, then. Hey, round up the boys. Sir. Hey, get off your asses! Uh Too late for that. I knew exactly how this little chat was gonna go down. Son of a... <laughs> yeah, well, I knew exactly where you'd be for a chat you weren't invited to. Well, if you're done over there, shall we get back down to business? You're not walking out of here. Cute. Uh, if you don't know how to use that thing, you're gonna cut yourself, man. You sure? You fuckers are the ones who don't know shit. This whole damn town belongs to the arcade now, you know? Now the whole town belongs to you, huh? You fucking morons. You're gonna have to pry this town out of my hands! <laughs> Let's get that knife away from him real fast. I can't touch him. Shit. this so that way I can at least, you know, stop his attacks. Already? No, sir. 
Come on, let's fucking do this! I, at the very least, I can say this guy's gonna beat you. Oh shit. Messing them up. Oh shit. Don't talk shit. Oh shit. Oh my god, my health. I need to be careful. Alright, just a second there. Uh, yeah, let's have a couple of those. good how could so you want to go now I understand why you wanted Kaito on your side still got anything you want to say Akutsu? I can appreciate your perspective on this Kaito in that case you better leave us the hell alone yeah we can do that we get it it's fine right Akutsu? Why are you here? Aren't you busy? <laughs> Just checking in. <sighs> you made quite a mess here. RK leader Kazuki Soma. Tak meets Soma. He's the leader of the RK. Yeah, I kind of figured. You keep saying we, but I don't think you know what's going on. You just gonna waltz in here and bark orders? Kaito-san turned down your offer, didn't he? And the other guy is Yagami from his own detective agency. Before that, he was an accomplished lawyer. Now he's with Kaito-san independently. It's my job to be running HQ, though. You shouldn't roll up unannounced. I Just one second. Bathroom again.
All right, apologies again. Just, uh, bathroom. I guess, uh, whatever I eat isn't quite sitting right with me. You're Anyhow. supposed to leave you to your own devices? I do have to check in, at least to show my face. <laughs> Got a cold? It's a dust allergy, actually. Tough thing to live with. And I used to catch hell for it in the Yakuza. Quit that infernal sniffling, they'd say. <laughs> yeah, that couldn't have been easy, man. I bet they would beat the shit out of you if you didn't blow your nose. <laughs> you know it. I do wish we'd had the time to work together, Kaito-san. You as well, Yagami-san. It may feel like we're a small-time outfit in the media term, but RK will grow. We'll show you. But in the meantime, we'll leave the two of you be. Does that work? Finally, some sense. <laughs> Best of luck with the growth. As the leader here, you need brains and brawn. Something else? Your gang was out there searching for some guy in a picture. Well, how'd that hunt end up turning out? He was some kind of girls bar manager, wasn't he? It sounded like he'd disappeared from Kamarocho more than a few years back. You have any luck tracking him down? Ah, uh, we actually found that he's unfortunately dead. Likely murdered. Considering Kamarocho's reputation and the nature of his profession, I can't say I'm all that surprised. <sighs> Got it. I guess I was just kind of curious. Always happy to oblige a detective. I'll just point me to get to fight uh, Akutsu. I guess we shouldn't have taken RK so lightly, even though they're new to the scene. Yeah. Supposedly, Sum was the one who spearheaded the campaign to scoop up all the ex Tojo. Turns out he's teaching the next generation of thugs about protection money, loan shark, mugging. He's like an unemployment agency for shitheads. They've got 50 full time bodies so far. But if you include part-timers and other associates, they may be well over 2,000 strong. That's a lot. Even half that's a lot. The Yakuza left behind a gaping power vacuum in this town. Even if it wasn't RK, someone else would have swooped in. So much for peace and quiet in Kamurocho, huh? <coughs> Sorry, son's calling. Hello? It's Shiosaki. Sorry for the wait. I found our file on Ahara's victim. Ah, oh, Mamiya-san, right? Yui Mamiya? Yes. She lives with her family in East Ikebukuro. I'm about to make a quick house call. Awesome. Then I'll be right over. Good. See you sooner than later, I hope. I caught all that. You go on ahead, Doc. This one's outside my area of expertise. Okay. I'll head back to the office when I'm done. Yeah, all right. Yeah, just head back there. Feel sneeze coming. Oh, yep, here it comes. And no, picking me out. Eh, apparently. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's uh, grab some health real fast. So we got that last time. Let's. Hmm. Yep, that'll work. King smile for starving. Oh, she looks so good. Now we're talking. Pretty tasty. Thanks. Okay. Well, let's uh see if we can't get a bit of a better idea as to what's going on here then, eh? Barber. Oh hey, Sarah. perfect timing, Yagami san. And here I was about to go without you. Are you ready to visit Mamiya-san? Uh, time to head for the home of Iara's victim who doesn't know we're dropping by. Uh-huh. Oh. Well, the best we can hope for is that she'll hear us out. Or answer the door.
East Ikebukuro, uh, Yu Mamiya's apartment. Remember, we're speaking to a victim here, Yagami-san. One whose assailant we defended in court. If we had tried to make an appointment, she probably would have declined outright. Hmm. Not sure showing up unannounced is much better. But let's just hope she's willing to talk. <sighs> yes. There's no way around it. It's a risk we had to take. Well, here goes nothing. Yes? I'm Shirasaki from the Genda Law Office. The attorney for Mr. Akihiro Ehara. You may remember me from the hearings. Why are you here? Don't you know it's rude to show up at someone's door uninvited? I understand. But we have a pressing matter that directly concerns you. If we could do this another way, we would. I apologize for any inconvenience. I'm sorry, but the trial's over and done with. You know I can legally turn you away. You're right, but I'm only asking a moment of your time. Please, would you mind? Uh, even Sayori couldn't whip up a solid approach for this. Are we really out of luck here? I don't have time for this. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Wait, 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 before you do that. Sorry to butt in. I'm Yagami, a detective helping Sari here out. And? I can't let this be the end. I need to talk her into opening this door somehow. Uh... Mm hmm. I guess you already tried uh, simple, so let's try to empathize. Are you aware of the trending video that's leading people to believe Ahara committed murder? Thing is, the victim was confirmed to be alive in Yokohama until the morning of your own incident. And, since Ahara was on the train with you, they're ruling him out as a murder suspect. So, what is it you're getting at? I'm just trying to ensure you're in the clear from any of that unfortunate business. If we could do this now, we'd never bother you again. All we need is ten minutes of your time. How absurd. We're only trying to help, but if later would work better for you, we could always come back another time. With our supervisor, of course. That visit would probably be more formal. There'd be paperwork, audio tapes, you know the drill. You'll want to clear your schedule. I really don't have time for any of that. No, I understand, and it's entirely our fault. We thought we'd do this casually, but we really should have been more by the book. But it is a murder case, so we do have to make sure our paperwork is in order here. Now... Would you prefer to schedule a date to accommodate a more formal interview? Uh, you said ten minutes if we do it now, right? Nice. We'll make it as painless as possible. We're right. in. Hold on. We really do appreciate it. Well, I'm impressed. I'm also not sure I should trust a word you say ever again. Really? <laughs> I did get us in the door, didn't I? I'm joking. I do appreciate the help. Now let's not screw this up. This is likely the only conversation we'll have with Mamiya-san. Hello. Hey, kiddo. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Again, we apologize for the intrusion. Let's just get this over with already. The victim, Yui Mamiya. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> we'll make this quick. Uh, we could use a conversation op opener with Mommy yet. Yeah? Let's take a quick look around for something useful. Oh. What the? A child's drawing probably of his mother. They even put it in a nice frame. How cute. I don't know about that. Alright. Hey. Uh, <clears throat> a children's bicycle? Obviously, that belongs to the boy we just met. Alright. Suspicious. If I remember correctly, you and Mom Mamiya lives here with her husband and son. They seem pretty happy in this picture. Uh, 
I actually able to like poke around in here without I... uh, children's drawing, prob probably of his mother. There, another frame. Hmm. Okay. What the? Uh, quite the layout they've got here. The kitchen has a clear view of the living room. Hey. Kids place set must be nice having a place big enough for one of those. Yeah. A lot of plants. What the <laughs> Yui Mommy has a six year old son, cute kid. I guess he's just I guess he's just started grade school. He seems pretty excited by visitors dropping by. Looks like his dad's not home uh -huh. yet though. <laughs> I'm sure the laptop's full of useful data, but we're obviously not getting to it. Thankfully, she's uh, pretty okay with me just kind of walking about suspicious. and all that. He's a suspicious hey. kid. Uh, Sayori Shirosaki, experienced lawyer, again to law office. I practiced there too until a few years ago. Looking at her now, you wouldn't guess it, but she's even done undercover work as the hostess at a popular club. She sure did. How far can I? I'm actually really surprised it's leaving me like go this far in. Uh, this place is so clean, even without expecting guests, I ought to do the same in my office. Okay. That's just the kitchen again. Uh-huh. Oh, I knocked over the fucking thing. Oops. Hey. I'm really surprised how much they're leaving me explore. For a married couple only in their 30s, they seem to be living pretty comfortably. Uh. Uh-oh. Okay, never mind. I thought I like locked uh, soft lock for a second. Uh, maybe their parents are helping them out too. Whatever the case, they're clearly above average income. Still not enough. Seriously? What the hell else am I looking for here? Uh. really weird. Um, here we got the picture, we got that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, for a second there, I, I thought I was going to let me explore further in for a moment. Hmm. I assume it's something to do with the husband, right? That. No. <laughs> um. Think. Uh, this room belongs to Yui Mama, the groping victim. I should scope out the place, but the impression of how. Yeah, that <laughs> doesn't really help me though. <laughs> They give me a greater hint as to what to look for or what the hell I was missing. Uh -huh. Um. Do I need to like look further in the kids' room here? Hi. Don't mind me. You got a lot of manga. Is that One Piece? Um. Missing. I just want to get this conversation going. Please. Wait, wait, wait. Where was that? Fuck. Yeah, it must have been. Uh did I take my shoes off? I don't know. Hmm. Seriously, what the fuck am I looking for here? I'm ready to throw in the towel here, game. What? 
What am I missing? Suspicious. Hmm? Was it seriously her? <sighs> There's the goods. Time for a pet. What? Uh, that's the kind of fill that must have ran through his mind on the train. What a pig. Oh my god, that actually wasn't it. What the hell? Hmm. Dude. Just. Let me. Please talk to the lady. I don't. Uh, dog. Um. Help. Someone. Mike. Photos. Picture. Uh huh. I am so confused. Uh, I, I hate that this is the part where I'm going, I don't know, four? No? Fuck, this thing feels so stupid right now. game. Just let me please continue. Uh -huh. I don't... I don't... I don't know what the hell it is we're looking for. Hmm. I, 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 I don't know. I feel like I've already searched everything, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh can, can you give me some better insight here? No? Nothing. Kid, help me out here. What? What's going on? I already looked over here. We've checked the TV. I really keep thinking it's going to be something to do with the damn... Plants, but it's not. What did the thing? It's not the booze. I'm really surprised we're not taking all the boxes, but the hangers. What the? I swear to God. It's your mom, a wife, mother, office worker, and victim. Uh, they got the same train as. On uh, Ikebukuro, where she ended up having to suffer through Ihara's groping her. I'm gonna kill someone. Ugh. So, talk. I've already told the police and the court everything they could want to know about that morning. I'm sorry to put you through this again, but would you mind going over those details with us? What else is left to discuss? I understand how pressured you might feel. I've gone over this so many times. I wonder if pressing charges was even worth it. No. Yes. What you did was both brave and inspirational. Many victims are afraid to come forward for any number of reasons. Your voice might give them courage to find their own. Ironic. Hearing this from that predator's defense team. Well, perhaps. <laughs> Would you mind walking us through that day from the beginning? It's nothing so mysterious. I was just on my way to work when some man grabbed my butt. That's all it was. Nothing else was out of the ordinary that day? Correct. Not to pry, but where is your husband today? Still at work? He usually doesn't get home until later. On that note, I have to feed my son, so let's get this wrapped up soon. We'll try our best to. 
Moving along. On that day, you and Ahara-san boarded the train bound for Ikebukuro, correct? Had you ever seen the man before then? No. At, at least not that I can recall. How many times must I go over this? Your lawyer friend here already knows everything I have to say. What do you gain by getting me to repeat things? That's the thing. Yagami-san here is a specialist. He can take whatever you repeat, analyze it, and draw up an entirely new conclusion. Right? Of course. Uh, That's exactly why I'm here. Great, now the pressure's really on. It seems to be a recurring thing lately. In the security footage as you stepped onto the train, it looks like Ahara-san stepped right behind you. Were you aware of his presence at this point? I was. It felt like someone kept pushing up against me with no sense of personal boundaries. I remember second-guessing myself at the time, thinking it was normal for the train to be that packed. Then the train took off while you were stuck in that situation. Yes. And then I felt the back of his hand against me. It kept getting worse from there. To the point where he went under my skirt. And the pig had the nerve to write it off as an accidental brush on a crowded train. But that kind of touch wasn't accidental. He even grabbed at me. Truly awful. And I do sympathize. I've also had to turn in an abuser like that. Personally speaking, some men can't wait to debase themselves at the first opportunity. Why would you say that and look at me? I just stood there, frozen. I couldn't see who was touching me. I had no idea what to do. I wanted to scream. But what if he just played it off? So I decided I would bear it till the next station. Are you okay, Mommy? I'm fine, sweetie. We're just having a bit of grown-up talk. Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Then go read your book and wait over there for Mommy. We're almost done. Looks like this is going to be ending soon, no matter what. I should keep my questions brief. Up to now, I haven't heard any contradictions between Mamiya's account and the security footage. You said footage. the abuse lasted the entire six minutes between Ikebukuro and Shinjuku Station. Did you see the Groper's face at any time during that span? No. I was too terrified to look. And, and I thought, even if I did, he'd just pull away and escape. But just as the train was pulling into Shinjuku, I reached back and grabbed the hand on me. That's when I saw his face. Of course, he shook me off as the doors opened, but I'd already gotten a clear look at him. He must have known I could turn him in at that point. So he ran, and I chased after. Right. That was captured by the station's security cameras. Great job tailing him in such a crowded space. On that note, did you ever happen to lose sight of Ahara-san while running? This cat was pretty easy to spot, and no one else was bolting off the platform like that, so I, I never lost sight of him. At that point, I could feel my voice returning, so I just screamed, that man grabbed me! I'm glad there were good Samaritans nearby. For sure. And there were a lot of smartphones out, so I figured there was no way for him to get away with it. I was so relieved. I see. I think I've got the gist of it. But now we've got a piece of evidence that contradicts what you've told us. Huh? What do you mean? Yui Mamiya's story lines up with her testimony from the trial, but there is one thing that it contradicts. I... Uh... Uh... of entry. Um.
I, I mean, is it gonna be this? I. Kind of stuck between like these two because like uh, camera wise, I don't think there's anything showing any contradiction between you know these. That should all be the same. It, it's just it. I don't know. I, I'm really lost well, here. What the on the same is. day, at 6:30 a.m. in Yokohama, a student teacher named Hiro Mikoshiba was sent off to work by his mother, but he was soon abducted near his home only to be found dead much later in Ichincho. Is that...? According to the video, the Harasan here is the murderer. What? He killed Mikoshiba in cold blood to get vengeance for his bullied son. This kid was about to graduate high school, but instead, he took his own life. So Ahara took it upon himself to punish his son's tormentor. That's awful! But now we come back to the issue here. If this footage is authentic, then Ahara-san couldn't have been your assailant. The victim's estimated time of death and Ahara-san's time of arrival in Tokyo simply don't allow for it. It's just not possible for someone to make that commute. <sighs> but there's the flip side. If Ahara-san was in fact your assailant, it would mean this murder footage is a fabrication. I don't know what you expect me to say after all this. Right? Now you know how we're feeling. That's why we came to see if you had any leads for us. So that's what this is about. After hearing your story, I have no doubt you endured a lot that day. Which would obviously mean that murder video was faked. Then... who shared that video? And why? Wish I knew. Based on the quality, something this convincing would need quite a budget. Whether it's CG on top of real murder footage, or just a rock-solid AI creation, no way it was cheap. So why go through all this effort to fake a murder? Who would benefit from it? But I have to say, I feel much closer to piecing this puzzle together with your help today. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, and rest assured, this will be the last time you see us. Our apologies for the unexpected visit. And for dredging up unpleasant memories. It's fine. So long as this is really the end of it all. Okay. I'm not really sure that was worth the effort of talking to her, frankly. I don't see why we gained much. I'd like to report Mamiya-san's account to the rest of the team. Can I count on you to be there? Sure. Let me give Kaito-san a heads up. All right, then I'll see you there. What's up, Kaito didn't get ganged up on? Is that running dude okay? <laughs> Yo, me. Huh. Hey, I just got back to Comrade Joe. Everything good? Any news? All good here, man. What's with you? You worried RK got to me or something? I yeah. mean, they did run their mouths about stabbing us in the back. But if you're good, I'm good. Anyway, I'm heading to Genda so Sari-san and I can go over what we learned from Mamiya. You're the boss. As for me, I'm calling it a day. <laughs> you do that. So I haven't seen uh, Hiragashi yet, though. I feel like we're due for that, right? Alright, well, let's uh, go ahead and get this going. Though I don't really know a good talking out over more is gonna do, frankly. Are we ready, Yagami-san? Let's start yeah. with our visit to Mamiya-san, if that sounds reasonable to you. <laughs> yeah, let's start there. So, the victim's story is completely in line with her court testimony, huh? That's correct. There wasn't anything new to pick up. Unfortunately. In which case, should we look into the murder video instead? Like, figure out how they made it? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Whether that tape's fake or real, someone had to put it online, right? Do we have any theories on who that might be? Well, the footage showed enough of the surroundings to make the crime scene clear. As somebody who's been there, I can confirm that the blood splotches match what you see in the footage. Which means... 
<laughs> Who uploaded a horror's mur uh, murder footage to the internet? <laughs> kind of got with detectives. Um... I want to believe the accomplices, because there's no way Ihara's doing this alone. We we know he's not doing it alone. He's got too many... Uh, there's too many forces at work, you know, with all the masked people trying to stop us. The murderer's accomplices have to be the ones who posted it for him. Yeah. I can't see it any other way. I also agree with Yagami-san. But in that case, what would their motive be? Fusion? Maybe they wanted to make a mockery of the police, or even the whole system. Huh? We know Ihara got himself convicted for groping, so he'd have an alibi for Mikoshiba's killing. But then, his conspirators turned it around by uploading the murder video online. Almost as if to say, look how he got away with it. I see. Yeah, that does make it sound like he's taunting them. That's well and good, but I'd like to shift gears. Let's talk about the actual fabrication of the video. How does one go about that? Well, for example, the true culprit would be taped murdering Mikashiba. Then Ihara's face would be copied and blended onto the killers. That's how they'd approach it in a Hollywood movie. But then, wouldn't you be able to see traces of it being faked? Tsukumo-san reported that he's found nothing of the sort in his analysis. We've been down this road before. If we take the stance that the footage is fabricated, we have absolutely nothing to work with. Then let's tackle this from the stance that the video is actually real. If that's the case, there has to be a flaw in the groping issue. I think we've collected enough evidence to find it too. So, what does this do for us? Once Ihara entered the Ikebukuro gates at 7.43 a.m. and stepped onto the platform, he was continuously monitored on camera. But, if he really killed Mikoshiba at 7.30 like we saw, there's no way he could have reached Ikebukuro in time. That would mean the person in the footage isn't Ahara, but an impersonator. So that's not really him? Yeah. He's got the sunglasses and hat to help sell the disguise. Wait, if that's the case, after murdering Mikoshiba, wouldn't Ahara have to swap places with the stand-in sometime before being detained? But we didn't see any opportunity for that. Multiple that dead cameras zone. saw Ahara move right up to Mamiya-san as they board the train in Ikebukuro. And the onboard camera recorded them for the entire commute. Not only was the act caught on tape, but his failed escape from the scene was recorded as well. Ultimately, Ahara was pinned down before leaving Mamiya-san's sight, so she had an eye on him the whole time. Right. So, the current belief is that Ihara was caught on camera the entire time he was at the station. But wait, that's not entirely accurate, is it? Huh? But Ihara wasn't constantly on camera between Ikeburo Station and Shinjuku. The proof is... Yeah, because we got that... There is a dead zone. Right? Remember right? how we mocked up a diagram of the Shinjuku station platform? Yeah. No, oh, wait! That's it! You could be onto something. There's a point where Ahara wasn't on camera at all. What is this point you speak of? Let's all go over the diagram so that everything will be clear. Here's what I want you to see. What the? Suspicious. Yeah, it's, uh, dead zone, of course. It's very brief. But there's a moment where Ihara and Mamiya-san can't be seen by the security cameras. The dotted lines on the arrow represent the camera's blind spot. It does appear so. So you're saying this is where the groper, the fake Ihara, traded places with the real one? Can't say it's impossible, right? Right. Except if that actually happened, Mamiya-san would have been right behind them at the time. Could the two really swap places without her noticing? In a crowd like that, I think it's feasible. If that really was Ihara's plan, then I'd say he was being careless. Careless? How? Well, on the day of the incident, the station was packed for morning rush hour. 
that means there was no solid guarantee the assailant could make the switch. He could have been nailed by any random passerby before reaching the blind spot. Good point. Not only that, if Mamiya-san had called for help while the train was still moving, then the first Ahara would have been caught before even reaching the platform. Oh, I mean, yeah! Called it. Think about it, Yagami-san. Why would Ahara's accomplices meticulously plan out every last detail of this alibi, only to leave such a crucial component to chance, as Hoshino-kun pointed out? Oh, just doing my job. True. Good work, Hoshino-kun. In fact, I think that may back up my own take on it. Yeah? What if everything, including the appearance of leaving the plan to chance, was part of the plan? Can you expound on that? I'm saying I agree that such an airtight alibi wouldn't have allowed for contingencies. And that takes the question to another level. Just how far did they line up the pieces in advance to make the swap work? Are you saying there's more to it than we discussed? What did we miss? Everything on the day of the murder, including the train groping, was planned from start to finish. What else can we possibly deduce? Uh -huh. See, that's what I was thinking. I know this won't go over well, but what if Mamiya was colluding with Ahara all along? Huh? Bear with me. Let's say Mamiya was in on this and knew about the imposter in advance. If that's the case, the swap could happen right in front of her and no one but the three of them would know. You're saying the victim of a groping conspired with her assailant beforehand? That's ridiculous. It's not a suggestion I'm fond of, but I have to consider the possibility of Mamiya uh, playing a part in this Let conspiracy. Let me just say, I'm only trying to work out how a swap like that would be guaranteed to work. Now, if Ahara and his stand-in both know that Mamiya will pretend not to have seen them, they can trade places in the blind spot with impunity. Conversely, if Mamiya wasn't in on the plan, the idea of a swap would never work. We can say with certainty that she would have seen the swap, so... She could have even called attention to the real Ahara the moment he stepped in. That way, the people around her would be focused on chasing the correct assailant. The rest is as we know it. They caught Ahara and detained him until the police showed up. Hold that thought. If your theory is accurate, what about Ahara's trace evidence? Remember that fibers of the victim's underwear were detected on his hand. Well, that can also be explained by Mamiya being in on the plan. Yep. For example, while the stand-in was showing himself at the security cameras, Mamiya could have easily provided Ahara access to a pair of underwear at the same time. Maybe the stand-in loitered around for so long because he was letting everyone else get themselves in place. It's not impossible. We can work out the other details later, but the point is, Ahara's murder alibi is shot if Mamiya was involved. In summary, it's possible Ahara disgraced himself to secure an unshakable alibi for Mikushiba's murder. I'll concede that it's an avenue worth pursuing. And when it comes to the prosecution, they can't just admit they got the first case so wrong. Plus, they can't question Ahara about Mikushiba's murder. In fact, their only option is to claim the tape is faked. So he managed to make a farce out of the system after all. Well... His court case for his son's bullying did get more or less thrown out, didn't it? The school, the investigative committee, and the court all agreed. There wasn't enough evidence to convict anyone. No surprise for me that the guy held a grudge against the system for so long. Hold on. Before we all decide on this... What's up? The obvious question to me is why would Mamiya be party to such a crime? She appears more than financially stable and she's even raising a child. So why would she do something so enormously risky as helping establish a murder alibi? Yeah, I haven't gotten that far yet. But maybe she was promised something that far exceeds the risk. Or maybe Ahara has some kind of dirt on her even? Enough to make her help with the murder? What sort of secret would be big enough to force someone into that corner? 
A 53-year-old patrolman and a married office worker and mother, the only connection between them so far is the train station what itself. What info do we have on Mamiya anyway? Maybe we can spot a connection to Ahara through her profile. I'll pull her information. Just a second. Oh. I just thought of something else those two would have guaranteed by working together. What's that? If Ahara wanted to use this crime as a murder alibi, he needed it to blow up into the public eye. But if he had chosen a victim who stayed silent, then nothing would have come of it. A solid plan would need to eliminate that variable, which means Mamiya being an accomplice was crucial to Ahara's success. That's true. Looks like Ahara pulled one over on the prosecution then. Had his accomplices right where he wanted them, even his victim. Once we learn how he's connected to Mamiya, we can root out the rest of his team. Let's see. According to her file, her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. 30 years old, so that's consistent. Originally from Ota, Tokyo. Attended a private high school called Kurakawa Academy. Later graduated from Toto University. Huh. Met her husband on the job, apparently. Her husband, Taichi Mamiya, is an industrial designer at Techno Zeta Inc. Six years ago, she gave birth to their only son, Sotakun, who's now in first grade. Hold on. You said she went to Kurakawa Academy? I heard that name in Ijincho. If I recall correctly... Uh... Kurakawa, um... Why am I blanking on who the hell is Suku? Oh, break Suku. Suma graduate. Um, was someone spying on us there? Kurakawa Academy? Right? I think. Because we weren't at Kurakawa Academy, we were at a. Seiro. Um. I don't remember anything about Tsukumo graduating there. I, the only reason Kurakawa is coming back to me is because, um, what was it, Sawa said that there was um, some other case that happened there, right? With another uh, bullying incident? When I went to scope out the murder scene, there were these three guys watching the detectives and me. They told us they were just checking things out, but they mentioned they're Kurakawa grads, too. Do you have any ID on you? Uh, will my license work? Akaike-san, age 30. Akaike-san, age 30. Mommy is 30 as well. What's that got to do with anything? Aren't we trying to find a connection between Mamiya and Ohara? I found the Kurakawa Academy website. Looks like they're pretty prestigious. It's in Tokyo, specifically in Ota. Pretty close to where Mamiya lived. Oh. What? The girls there get such cute uniforms. <sighs> you little... You want to start all over from the bar exam? Wait. I've seen that uniform before too, actually. Where? On an old picture of a teacher at Serio High. Sawa sends it. Hara's son had confided it. Is she actually a Kurakawa grad, too? I don't know Sawa Sensei's exact age, but she could well be 30. Maybe all of them are even classmates. Could this mean they're actually linked? The victim and her up to now unrelated assailant? It's a tenuous link at best. Could fall apart any time. But no true detective alive would pass it up. It's called Double Jeopardy, but okay. Oh yeah, I, I kind of get it, but... Uh, uh. Alright, let's uh, skip that. Clearly we just played through that. Chapter 6, Converging Heat. See, now we're moving through chapters. Now we're getting some story going.
Hiro Mikashiba's murder was sparked by the bullying of Toshiro Ehara, who committed suicide four years ago. The graphic video that hit the net showed the world how Toshiro's father, Akihiro Ehara, had brutally avenged his son. We also know the father had accomplices. On October 7th at 6.30 a.m., they forced Mikoshiba into a vehicle, took him to an abandoned building, and gravely injured him. Then, around 7.30 a.m., the time frame when Ahara killed Mikoshiba, the other conspirators were probably nearby, even though they weren't on camera. At the same time, 30 kilometers away at Ikebukuro Station, a man who looks like Ehara is caught on camera. We'll call that guy the stand-in. The stand-in made sure he was in front of the cameras for more than an hour before boarding the 9.06 a.m. train, the same one Yui Mamiya was on. After committing sexual battery on that train, he meets the real Ehara in the camera's blind spot, and they change places. That's how he established a false alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. And to achieve this, the victim, Yui Mamiya, had to have been in on it from the start. Hmm. Sure are a lot of people getting their hands dirty for Ahara. Mamiya, Ahara's standing on the train, the guys who kidnapped Mikoshiba. How did some troubled cop manage to recruit so many allies? Well, one person that comes to mind who might be the key to all this is Yoko Sawa. She's a teacher at Serio High. She was the only adult Toshiro-kun ever told about the bullying, and she supervised Mikoshiba as a teacher before he disappeared. On top of that, she's a Kurokawa Academy graduate, same as Mamiya. Those trespassers at the murder scene were also from Kurokawa. Since they're all about the same age, it's possible they were all classmates. So you're saying these classmates are also Ohara's murder accomplices? If we consider Yokosawa the central link, that's very possible. We do know that as a teacher, she felt deep remorse for Toshiro-kun's suicide. Maybe she recruited her old classmates to help Ehara take his revenge. Yeah, best not to rule that out. Though I'm hoping that's not the case. Why is that? It's just... She's a really good teacher. She's yeah. passionate, responsible. She's always putting the students first. I know she regrets the past. That a student died on her watch. And now another of her students, Mikoshiba, is found murdered. So if it turns out she's involved in that, I doubt I'll be able to trust my own judge of character ever again. <sighs> Yagami. I'm going back to Ejinsho tomorrow. The plan is to bring up Mamiya's name to Sawa-sensei and see how she reacts. Until then, let's not jump to conclusions about her involvement. All right. Uh, can I chime in real quick? I was looking into Kurokawa Academy, and I stumbled across something that may be relevant. What's that? Well, it happened 13 years ago, but there was an attempted suicide. A third year jumped off the school's roof after being thoroughly humiliated. Bullying suicide from 13 years ago, didn't Sawa mention that to- Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's what it was. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, if I remember correctly, the student lived, but remains in a coma to this day. Actually, uh -huh. Sawa-sensei mentioned that. She said it was a boy in her class. Right, that's gotta be the same case, then. The student's name was Mitsuru Kuzumoto. He's 30 now, but still in a coma. Huh, and all that info's on the net? It wouldn't be normally, but his mother happens to be vice minister of the Ministry of Health. Ever heard the name Reiko Kusumoto? Not once. I have. It was on the news. They were talking about her and her son. Vice Minister's uh, rank above most government officials, so this lady has quite a position of power at the Ministry of Health. Why is it, like, why is the Ministry of Health, like, it was, uh, Ichinose before? Well, do you remember the uproar in the health ministry when Vice Minister Ichinose got arrested? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, his that. successor couldn't contain the resulting chaos, which is when Kusumoto-san got tapped to lead. They couldn't afford another criminal scandal, so her promotion was out of the blue. 
She was a safe choice, a veteran with tenure and experience. Not to mention, her son's tragedy made people see her as a more sympathetic figure. Very popular. She's kind of a new generation heroine, so to speak. Huh. Is any of that relevant to the case at hand, though? Who knows? But Reiko Kusumoto and Ahara both have children who were bullying victims. I don't think that's a connection we can afford to overlook, if you ask me. Okay, so Kusumoto's son. What exactly happened to him? Let's see. He was bullied by a fellow third year at his school, Shinya Kawai. The records say he harassed Mitsuru-kun every day, in and out of school. Well, one time he even stuffed dirty rags in his mouth. That's so cruel. Yeah, and the teacher was a real piece of work. Apparently he knew, but he just smirked and said, don't overdo it. Oh, I remember now. The media pounced on that one hard. If they were classmates, then both Sawa-sensei and Mamiya would know about this. And maybe because they couldn't save Mitsuru-kun, their guilt left them open to Ahara's persuasion. But to prove that, we'll have to hear from them directly. I'll talk to Sawa-sensei first thing tomorrow. That'd be helpful. In the meantime, I'll be working on Ahara's appeal. It's clear they missed something important in the trial, since Ahara is apparently innocent of sexual battery. Being that he was out committing murder at the time. What started as a simple harassment case sure has blown up big. It's bound to, right? I guess I head back to the office for today. Yeah, that's just yep. I admit, I used to see Ahara as nothing more than a shameless cop who got what he deserved. But I guess that's what he wanted us to believe, along with the prosecution and the public at large. What we're dealing with is a man who disgraced himself and the justice system all in the name of vengeance. At this point, I doubt much can scare him. You have to be a certain kind of desperate to sink that low. Thanks again, Yagami-san. Try to relax for once. You've earned it. Yeah, well, we'll see. Feels like things are, uh... Getting up, but it's still just, it's still just that lingering question as to why the hell is there so much protection for him? Like that's just the the connecting point that's not sticking up, unless there's something going on with the new minister of health or vice minister of health, I should say, where she's. I guess she might be trying to do something there. I I don't know. A lot of questions. A lot of answers needed. Really, guys? Why the questions have to be answered? So maybe we should, uh... Okay, good, yeah, I was about to say. Uh, I was hoping Tender was still available. Um... Maybe we should check out the pawn shop real fast? I just want to see what they, uh, might have. But yeah, and it's just, you know, some general thinking I don't think is going to, excuse me, um, I don't help connect any dots right now. Oh, wait, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take Deceptive Mist. Yeah. Book of the Slithering Snake, Volume 1. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Serenity Bat? Okay. Penguin Land? I'll take it. I right, just... Give me, like, all this. Uh, let's 
let's see. Oh, it's not right. I know that song. I, I, I know it's one of the uh, karaoke ones. Rouge of Love, that's it. Attack plus 10%. Hell yeah! Yeah, that's fine enough. Oh! Big squirrel! What does it mean? What does it mean? <laughs> Squirrel's tormenting me. Uh, all right. Kaido, you're okay still, right? Oh. Uh, is he, uh, first up at his place? Okay. So I haven't found the, or run to Higashi yet. I want to see him. I wonder if we have to go by Charles if he'll be there. Oh, he's fine. Cool. Wait a minute. What? Yo, you took your sweet time. But I got the gist of it. You're going to Ijincho, right? To meet with Sawa Sensei? Kaito san, you do realize that only I can meet her. You can't get into the school. I know, but if you end up taking it off campus, can you at least call me this time? Don't you understand the situation? Sawa Sensei might be tied to murder. You sure you understand it? Come on, she would never do that. Not a fact. So happens I'm a great judge of character. Especially when it comes to women. Ah, oh, sometimes I forget who I'm talking to. Okay. Then straight to Jincho, then, eh? Are we able to go there? I mean, Charles is there. Fuck it, I'm gonna try. I mean, if he's just there behind the counter, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. He's like, yo, dog, <laughs> what's up? Although, 10 to 1, I'm gonna believe it's, um,. It's gonna be that same guy who was there uh, before. What? I'm gonna find out. Ah, uh, yeah, it is you. Damn it. I'm going in there. Man, making me sad. Oh, huh. what the? What are you? What does it mean? Is that a bug thing? It's only. I forget, like, does it, like, just beep any time, or? Maybe it does. Um, okay, well. Let's just go to Injinchio, I guess. I say to go ahead and talk to Sawa, but, uh, even if that happens, I don't think it's gonna... Uh, go that well. Noise. Noise? What? Oh, like, uh, for the bad detective. Well, first stop, it's gotta be Chinatown. Can't face Tsukumo on an empty stomach. Never a dull day for you, huh, Kaito-san? It's a selection, man. I've already worked out the math. I figure if I hit four or five places a day... What? What's up? Check that out. It's Akutsu. Kamurocha thugs are looking pretty out of place here. Yo! Akutsu! 
What are you fools doing in town? Hey, don't ignore me. It's Kaito. Fancy seeing you here. I'm kind of busy here, man. Catch you later. What an asshole. Ichincho's a long way from home. And he's traveling with a small army. Would he have come all this way because of us? Nah, we just caught him totally off guard. He's not out here for us. Gotta be something else. But something's not right if they're just cruising around. Hmm. It's gotta be an RK operation. He brought too many guys for it to be something more personal. Yeah. <laughs> Kamurocho streets can be tough. Maybe they gave up. Hmm. Well, whatever they came out here to do, we ought to keep our noses the hell out of their business. But you better hustle. You're gonna be late for class. I'll catch you <laughs> after school. We should head to the Sierra High School. I need to find out if Mamiya really has connection to Sawa. Well, I'm sure she does. Okay. Unhinged taxi. Alright, so, uh, so I'm gonna talk to your uh, favorite person again. Yuck at me. It's me. How you doing? Oh. Uh, what is it, Yagami san? Sensei, do you have a minute? I saw the video of Miko Shiba kun. So you did. That video, right? I thought Ehara-san was convicted for a sex offense. How could he be in that video killing Miko Shibakun? But then that video looked so real. Most likely it is. As you unfortunately had to witness, Ehara-san committed murder with his own two hands. Which means as far as the groping that day goes, there's some deception at work. A uh, deception? Are you familiar with Ehara-san's victim in the case? Her name is Yui Mamiya. I don't think I recognized her, no. Thirteen years ago, she attended Kurokawa Academy. Her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. Yui Suzuki? Just a minute. Are you saying she was the one Ehara-san groped? So you do know her, then? Were you two classmates? We were, in our third year of high school. I had a hunch. You didn't know she was the victim of that whole incident? I mean, it's just so hard to believe. Does this all seem like a wild coincidence to you, then? I'm just gonna call it now, real quick. Um, the masked woman who gave the picture to Sawa way back when we were supposed to meet her at the uh, plague, plage, whatever it was called. I I'm just putting money down. That was the Vice Minister of Health, wasn't it? Just, let's just keep that in mind. I just want to have that ready for a call. Your old student's so. father gropes one of your high school classmates at a station with three million daily travelers. What are you implying? I'm saying your old friend Yui might be cooperating with the Harasan, as in she only played the part of a victim. She might have even known it was all to hide a murder. What? Why? Why would she do that for him? She really doesn't seem to know of any connection between Ahara and Mamiya. If this is all an act, then she's an amazing actress. I don't think she's bullshitting us about that, at least. From where I'm sitting, Sensei, you're connected to Ahara and Yui Mamiya. I just need your help figuring out what that connection is. Yagami-san, please. Are you implying I was some kind of liaison between them? Well, Sensei, what was your relationship with Yui Mamiya? Were you close? Or would you say classmates covers it? The two of us were never really that close. To be honest, 
I didn't really like the group of kids she hung out with. I guess you could say we didn't have the same interests. When was the last time you saw her? Did you have a high school reunion by any chance? They held a reunion around the time I graduated from college. But I didn't feel like going. That same class bullied a kid into jumping off the roof. So if that's the case, you haven't seen any of your classmates since you all graduated from Kurokawa? That's right. Okay then. The thing is, Ahara-san and Mamiya are connected. It is kind of loose, but it's there. They have one thing in common. What? In both of their pasts, someone they knew was bullied to the point of attempting or committing suicide. Ahara-san lost his son, Toshiro-kun, and as for Yui Mamiya, it's her classmate, Mitsuru Kusumoto. That could be a factor, especially for Mamiya. It's possible that Ahara-san would be a sympathetic figure to her. Maybe enough to help construct an alibi for his revenge. It's possible she only played the part of a groping victim. What do you think? Does it have any merit, or is my theory full of holes? Even if you're on the right track... Um, Sawa-sensei? We're just waiting on you to start the staff meeting. Oh, sorry, I'll be right there. What happened 13 years ago at Kurokawa? That might be the last piece of the puzzle. What about Yui Mamiya? How'd she react when Mitsuru Kusumoto tried to kill himself by jumping off that roof? I'm sorry, I'm already late for my meeting. I'm trying to ask you about a murder here. To Ahara, Every unanswered question is a victory for that man. He's only a step away from walking for it. And I know Mamiya had other conspirators. It took more than one person to murder Mikoshiba. They're still at large, even as we speak. I'll be honest. I came here today with a suspicion that you might be more involved in this murder than you're letting on. A suspicion? Nothing you've said has made me feel any better about it. And what should I do about that, huh? I just Put want you to away. tell me how are Ahara-san and Mamiya connected beyond what I've already figured out? I think you have the key to that answer even if you don't know that you're the one holding it. It's like a lock, and until I figure out how to get through it, I'm gonna keep picking at it. I told you, I'm late for a meeting. I'll be here when you get back. Have a good meeting. <sighs> Suit yourself. Hmm. <sighs> it's not going great, but at least I've learned she was classmates with Mamiya. Uh, I'll take the ones where I can get them. Sayori will want to hear that later, too. Oh, no. It would be nice, though, we just get stayed there, waited for the whole time. Big drop! Drop! Oh. Right. Uh, let's see if Kaito uh, found anything. Curious and curiouser. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell Sari about Sawa and Mamiya. Hey, Sari-san, it's Yagami. Hey, did you manage to talk to Sawa-sensei? Yeah, turns out she really was in Mamiya's class. And they were both aware of the suicide incident with their classmate. Good to know. While we're on the topic, Hoshino-kun got his hands on some new info. Let's hear it. The bully at Kurokawa High was named Shinya Kawai. He transferred out right after Mitsuru-kun jumped, as if he were running away. Once he came of age, it looks like he worked here in Kamurocho. Wow. Ooh. You really can find a lot online. Yes, and to top it off, Kawai earned a reputation for talking about how he drove a classmate to suicide. Like he's proud of it. Maybe he thought he'd get a laugh in Kamrocho. Probably would. So I was more or less a Yakuza, though he never swore into it. I just sent you his picture. It was taken five years ago. <laughs> what? This oh. guy? You recognize him? Not too long ago, some RK punks came asking his whereabouts. Hmm. Said he was a girls' bar manager who went missing. Yeah, it looks like he did work at a girl bar, but we don't know which one. Okay, so the guy's definitely suspicious. What business would RK have with him? Do you know if they ever found him? No. 
but their leader, Soma, said something about Kawai having already been killed. Like he just vanished from Kamurocho a few years ago, and that was it. Wait, he was killed? Uh-huh. Kinda gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawai and Mikoshiba, two known school bullies. And they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawai. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawai a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. Hmm. Still missing critical pieces, though. How was it, Sari san? What did Yagami san have to say? He said he recently ran into some RK members looking for Shinya Kawai. Did he? He also said RK later told him Kawai had been killed. Hmm. This is getting scarier with every new lead. Now that you mention it, I have seen people getting stopped and asked about someone all over town. But if those were RK on the hunt for Kawai, could it have something to do with our case as well? Oh, we're in... Are we going to be Sayori again here? Hmm. Uh, putting aside the connection between Mikishiba and Kawai, why is RK suddenly so involved? I'm honestly not sure how RK could be involved in all this. I'm going right. out for a bit, Hoshino-kun. Do <gasps> me a favor and keep digging up what you can on Kawai. Wait, what? Sometimes you have to get out in the field. It can't just be Yagami-san all the time. Oh, shit! Did she jump out the window? You don't mean you're going straight to RK for some answers? What else would I be doing? I need to know why they were looking for Kawai. Then I'm coming with. I can't just let you do that alone. Don't worry. It's still light out, and I plan on staying in the open. Besides, if I'm alone, they'll be more eager to talk. That may be, but still... I'll just call you about every ten minutes then. For your safety. I find that rather unnecessary. You sure? Seriously, what are you two? Like, he is considerably less thirsty than he was back in Judgment, so I... It, it feels like they've come to a good, uh... coupling. If you're going out alone, keep your wits about you. And get back safe. Thank you, Kenta. Okay, uh, can she run? No. Alright, Sayori. Can we hop out that window? Can you be a bigger badass? <sighs> Damn it. I get it, she doesn't want to break her shoes. Uh, first I'll need to find some RK members. Unlike Galkaza, they're hard to identify by appearance alone. But no worries, in times like these, it's good to know the owner of Tender, he's well connected. Jumping over there? Yep. Uh, this bartender, the first place Yagami worked at when he arrived in the city. The owner, Joe Masuda, always has his ear to the ground. I'm sure I could ask him where I might meet some RK members. Uh, of course, he'll be like, well, you want to meet them? But why? Hey. Uh, oh, God. Hello. It starts with the name. Mary. Sorry, Mary. Jan, I see. To what do I owe this pleasure? Nice to see you, too. Oh, hi. Say, aren't you one of Tok's lawyer friends? Does that mean he's on his way, too? It's just me today. <sighs> Fine by me. That means you and I get some girl talk time. Oh, that stings, Mari. And here I thought I had a place in your heart. <laughs> well, I think his no one knows a lady's heart like a bartender. Maybe. I guess you can stay. Uh, the two of them sure can keep up with each other, but if I'm going to ask questions, I better order a drink. Let's see. All these bottles got you feeling lost? Care for a few pours from Tox? It'll be our huh. secret. Besides, a man with his tab can't complain. <sighs> You're too kind. So I'm actually here to ask you, how can I set up a meeting with R.K.? Darn. So this wasn't a pleasure call? Well, I'm glad you're at least enjoying the drink. 
True. And looking fancy doing it. Oh, please. You two are going to embarrass me. My apologies. I suppose being surrounded by such beauties has a timeless appeal. Even at my age. I'll second that. Masuda here is looking at least a year younger. <laughs> Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> of course. If you got any younger, you'd be much too handsome. What's a girl to say? And I'll second that. <laughs> oh no, this isn't good. I'm getting so relaxed, I might forget Anyhow, about work. If you're after an RK rendezvous, the good news is those guys are everywhere. But it's not like a civilian can just stroll up and ask, Hey, are you RK? And expect to get an answer. You got that right. And Sauri Chan needs to ask them something that's kind of sensitive. Oh, that's certainly going to make things challenging. Just a bit, yeah. So I say, why not let the boys do the chasing? Wouldn't be hard for an enchantress like you. <sighs> but honey, we need to do something about your look. Some nice clothes her up again? and a little makeup, and you'd be unstoppable. Finally. My turn to second something. I suppose I would need to look approachable. Talk told me once that if you ever felt like it's Sauri Chan, you could put every hostess in Kamrojo to shame. I've got to admit, I'm curious. Well, a good hawk hides her talents. You're saying I should dress like a hostess for this? <laughs> well, I'm sure there are other ways. But if you want a foolproof plan to snag an RK, you've got one. Well, if you want, I can get you some looks. And you can choose what you like. I get the message. And I suppose I'll take you up on that. Okay. Then leave the rest to me. We're gonna dress her up again. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> What the fuck, man? Uh, nope, not that. That's alright. Uh, the merm... Is that the mermaid? No, it's just a long halter. Um... No. 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 Mm, it's not bad. No. As old faithful, would you like that? But let's try something a little bit different, shall we? Maybe this? This is... Bodycon, yeah. Big 80s look, of course. This is the mermaid dress. I don't really... Yeah, it's just, I don't like the tail end of it that much, the thing. Or the bear top. Bear top's not bad. Hmm. No, not this one. No. Nah. Kind of like this. Kind of. Eh. What colors you got? No. Not gold. Ugh. No, I'm not really feeling any of that. Um, that was the body con, right? Yeah. What do you got here? Hold on. Okay, okay. We'll work with that for now. Uh, no, I feel like that's too much. Maybe a headband? We'll see. Uh, Sayori glasses, yes. Let's give her the fringless, though. choose that let's figure out the hair side real quick uh, too, uh, too much like mafu you no no nah isn't that just um the guitar girl's hair from judgment No. No. I do like this, though. Nah. No. 
Uh, that's what we went with before, but I don't want to do the same thing again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let's go with the cute short hair with the braid on top. Color the hair some? Maybe? Nice dark brown? Or more of a chestnut, really, right? God damn, this game. Fucking. <laughs> nah, here you go. Here's a whole nother dress up salary bit. Great. Thank you so much, game. Let's give her full eyelashes. Keep it simple. Eyebrows. That's fine. That'll work. Uh, some eyeliner, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Not at that. Yes. We want her eyes to really pop here. Uh, it's so stupid. I mean, it's so into this for a bit that's probably only going to last, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, let's go with that. Eyeshadow? Do I give a shit about eyeshadow? No, I don't. Eye color. Really pretty green eyes. What have I got here? Ooh. Amber. Um... Really purple. Violet. Let, uh, let's go just with an opaque. I think that looks good. Uh, let's give our girl a little bit of blush to work with, too. Maybe a little bit rosy? Stick though. Okay, so. No? No? Eh. Maybe? No. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Full dark? Yeah. That's the one. Uh, let's give her a watch. Watch a gorgeous watch. Let's make it simple. So silly. Just a cute little ring. Um, she need a bangle or a bracelet? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh -huh. This is where spirits keep her calm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice neck piece. Simple necklace. Nah, it's too heavy. Not a pearl. That's kind of nice. Yeah, let's go with that one. I think I think that suits it because you know, it brings about a little more attention. Earrings. Hearts. Not stars. That's too much. Kind of simple. Cross. Too, way too much. Some simple hoops. I, well, I mean that's more hoops, yeah. But nah. Let's go with that. Uh, and no headpiece, right? No stupid tiara. She's our. I don't know. It's like the braid on top, where he kind of acts as a good. Bit. I think I'm happy with it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. Boom. Oh, well, would you look at that? Talk was right on the money. I couldn't have imagined. 
you sure about that, Marisan? I hardly feel comfortable wearing this in front of you. What are you saying? You're so pretty. I don't you say so. Really? You're dynamite. Though, there is one thing that's missing. What's that? Pride. That's the final touch you need. Pride in your own beauty. Well, I I'm not sure I have that. Then how about your pride as a lawyer? You have that, don't you? As a lawyer? Yes, there it is. Go ahead and take a look. Now that's the face of the girl who gets the man she wants. It's been a while since I've felt this way. I have you to thank for that. <laughs> These bad boys won't know what hit them. Now, let's go dangle the bait. You mean us, right? You bet. Two nightlife girls like us alone on the street literally brings the RK boys running. Especially along Senryo Avenue. Why don't we take a walk? Uh, are you sure? <laughs> I, I don't want to drag you into this. <laughs> are you kidding? And miss the chance to see this makeover in action? But really, I want you to succeed. I promise I won't be a bother. Time to walk down Senro Avenue. If any arcade guys approach us, we'll reel them in. Then I can ask them about Shinya Kawai and see what they've found out so far. Okay. Let's just walk. Okay. Silly that they're doing the same thing again. I mean, if it works, it works, right? Just walking down, looking fine. Look out. Why did you just bump into someone? Don't bump into me, ladies. Don't do it. Don't know what you're messing with. Excuse me, ladies. You, uh, get lost on the way to the beauty pageant? Rory out for a drink. Nice. Maybe he's heading to work somewhere in town. Oh, we're just two girls bar hopping by our lonesome. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, in that case, why don't you roll with us? I know a great place. You could drink all you want. Wow, you guys loaded or something? We can throw them back, you know. You sure? Hell yeah! There's a place my buddy runs. I'd be thrilled to see some ladies like you. If they're arcade, then it might be good to take them up on their offer, but how can I know for sure? Just by type. You're there! It, yeah, just ask them outright. Uh. Uh. Uh, too obvious. I, I, I want to ask this, but I'm afraid Sayori would say it too bluntly. You rugged boys are just my type, actually. But are you really that into older girls? Me? I'm your type for real? Oh, what happened to your nose? That bandage makes you look so tough and masculine. What's gotten into me? I am such a mess tonight. <laughs> One too many, Sorry chan Don't worry, Sorry chan I love a hot mess. I'm one myself. And now, while their guard is down... You wouldn't happen to know any of them, would you? You seem like you'd be popular enough. RK, okay. of course we know him. Why? You ladies about that thug life? Well, I've heard RK boys know how to show a lady a good time. Things like 
They party like there's no tomorrow and spare no expense on fun. But sorry, chan Why limit yourself to RK? I think these boys are plenty attractive. <laughs> I'm starting to think we were meant for each other. Oh? What makes you say that? Wait, don't tell me you're... Not supposed to be blurting it out, but yeah. We're RK. And pretty high up, too. B? Shoot. RK wouldn't be what it is now without us. Never thought it'd get this big, either. Looks like this went well. I knew they had to be with RK. Now all I have to do is ask them about Shinya Kawai. Um, why were they looking RK for RK has Kamrocho pretty much wrapped around its finger now, huh? Just about. The time of the Yakuza laying down the law is over. All that respect yeah. and chivalry shit. Then, like all the old legends, yeah, now the no. underground world is a jungle. And winning the fight's all that matters. Wow, must be hard. But I think that's hot. That reminds me. Weren't you RK guys looking for someone recently? A man who disappeared a few years ago? Oh yeah, him. We were looking for this dude who ran a girls bar. See? I knew you guys would know what that's about. <laughs> oh well, five years ago he suddenly disappeared. But that's not even news in Kamurocho. That's so crazy, though. What happened to him? You ever end up finding the guy? Nah, didn't work out. No surprise, he was just a punk anyway. His name was Kawhi. The way I heard it, some of his old friends rolled up on him one night. My guess is, it was trouble from another town catching up to him. Anyway, they argue for a bit, and it ends with the guy getting shoved into a van. And that's the last time anyone saw the dude. Whoa, what do you think happened? I'm thinking they bumped him off. If he was still breathing, he'd be back by now. I heard he never even picked up his final paycheck. My guess, he's fish food now. Or they buried him on some remote-ass mountain. You have any idea who would have done that to him? Don't know. They say it was ten or so people. Young, both men and women. Doesn't sound like a gang thing. Who knows, right? It was five years ago. A group of civilians shoved Kawhi into a van? And they were and they were old acquaintances. Could they have been classmates from Kurokawa Academy? No, I'm just rushing to conclusions. But if you heard all that, there must have been witnesses, right? So you're saying someone actually saw him get shoved in a van? Yep. Some chick working at his bar saw it all go down. At least that's what we heard from a guy who heard it from that chick. Where is this bar anyway? You mean some random dive bar half a decade ago? Who the hell knows? A hundred places have sprung up and gone under since. But Not wrong. then, why would anyone be looking for Shinya Kawai now? Did someone ask RK to find him? Think that's right? Hell if I know. It's a question for the top of the food chain. But hold on a sec. Can I ask you something? Huh? Just a minute ago, you mentioned a Shinya Kawai. How'd you know his full name when we never told you? Oh, shit! You're only Damn, talking to paying attention. you wanted dirt on Kawai. So who the hell are you? Uh, what do you think you're doing? Let go of her! Don't you know? Who sent you? Uh, uh, what should I call myself? I don't know your name, I'm just an arcade fangirl! I'm Sari Sh mm. ah! I don't know, the attorney thing seems to get the get people to back off, so I'm Sari Shurosaki, attorney at law. Unhand me this instant. Ooh, you're good oh, to you think I give a crap about what your job is? I'm saying things will go very badly for you if you keep this up. Big talk for a chick dressed to the nines to get info. Huh? Sorry, Chan? Yeah. Don't even try to fuck with us, lady! So 
Sorry, Chun. Huh? What the? <gasps> uh, yeah! Johnny Gant's back! You got your son. Asshole! <laughs> Fuck yeah! I swear, these jerks are popping up like roaches. Uh, um. You no just thanks, away? Needed. Just be careful on your own, especially when you're beautiful. Damn. Thank you so much, Higashi-san. I just said you don't... Wait, how'd you know my name? It's me, Shirosaki, from Genda Law Office. It's been a while. Holy shit! No way! Man, I didn't realize. Shirosaki-sensei. I didn't recognize you. You look incredible. Charles Arcade Manager Toru Higashi. You're the one who is incredible. This is all my oh. fault. I was the one who put Marisan in danger. You really saved us. <gasps> Young, strong, handsome. That's three out of three for me. Those guys were RK. Town's practically overrun with them these days. Toru Higashi, former Matsugani family member of the Tojo clan. He's like a brother to Kaito, and he knows Yagami, too. Uh, he runs his arcade full-time now, but apparently he still keeps up with Yakuza fashion trends. Yeah, he looks badass! Like, I can escort you somewhere safe. I got nothing but time on my hands. Oh, you don't say. Perfect. Who says we can't still salvage some fun out of tonight? Oh, uh, before we do that, let me call Yagami-san. Uh, Shinya Kawai was a bully 13 years ago. He vanished from Kamurocho when he was abducted by a group in a van. It seems like they were all people he knew, and it's possible they were his classmates from Kurokawa Yagami's Academy. still a jackass, I see. When Shirosaki sensei calls, you pick up in two rings. It is strange that he's not picking up. I'll try again. Wait, he was killed? Uh-huh. Kinda gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Deja Here you vu? have Kawai and Mikoshiba, two known school bullies. And they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawai. Could be. Okay, we'll investigate Kawai a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. All right, thanks. Now I guess I'll wait for Sawa. So a lot of time before the faculty meeting ends. Huh? Uh, it's a message from Amasawa. Uh, Yagami, one of my underclassmen, wants to talk to you. Could you come by the club room again after class if it's not too much trouble? No problem. Amasawa wants to talk about her underclassmen. I've got time, so I might as well go see what it's all about. Oh yeah, there might be uh, some new jobs over at Sukumo's office too. Uh, it's still, uh, wait, it's still a bit before the faculty meeting ends. I should kill time elsewhere. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, wait, wait. What is this? Hello. Do you know about the goddamn squirrels? Huh? What's a little girl doing out here by herself? Hope she's alright. Tell me about the squirrels. Hey, uh, is everything okay? Are you looking for something? Oh, no, I was just looking at the squirrel. Adorable, mm -hmm. isn't it? What squirrel? Did I seriously miss that one? Squirrel search! Anytime you see a squirrel paying around town, slip uh, into observation mode and examine it. Uh, if you copy what it's doing, you might find a hidden tree. Damn it! That's it, huh? Just talk to the kid in that. I... I can't believe it's that simple. Uh... Tough to hear. 
Okay. Ah. Oh. I had to look at it first. Oh, would you look at that? Uh, there is a squirrel. That's some pretty nice street art. Uh, why is squirrel, though? Is that supposed Yagami to represent Sa something? Yagami? Wait, Amasala? It, anyway, uh, Yagami, well, this is unexpected. Mm -hmm. What are you doing out here? Huh? I'm just gonna come talk to you, actually. Amasala! Oh, hey, I was just looking at some street art. Do you know what this is from? It's too good to be random graffiti. <laughs> How peculiar. I feel like I know this from somewhere. Maybe a famous graffiti artist no. did it? Eh, that's not it. I think I remember this from childhood. Mm. That's it. It's from a picture book I used to read all the time. Mm. Yes. Picture book. Yes, it featured all these forest critters doing different poses, and as a kid, you were supposed to imitate them. So if you copy the squirrel performing a greeting or lying down for a nap, you'd be learning good behaviors along the way. If you did them well, you'd get a reward like an acorn, at least according to the book. I see, so it was like an educational tool. But why would something from a children's book be painted out here? That's the big question, isn't it? Um, do you think we'd get rewarded if we copied the squirrel right here? <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute idea. Let's pretend uh, we're in the picture book and find out. So, what's the squirrel up to? Hmm. Let me think. Doing a magic trick, yeah. It's listening carefully. Uh, maybe it's listening mm -hmm. intently? Hmm, that could be. It does look like it's trying to hear something. And if we stand still and stay quiet, what? will we get a reward? At the very least, we can try and find out. Yeah, I'm not hearing a thing. Well, duh. We are playing make-believe, you know. Actually, I think I did hear something. Really? Wonder what? Might as well play along here, and I've got just the thing to amp up my hearing. Yeah, I was trying to do it before and... Yeah. There it is. Duh. Sounds coming from here. Superstitious Eater's Guide. What? 56? Oh, God. Source of the sound. Hey, what's that listening device thing you got there, Dilly? Yeah. You anywhere? Yeah, after turning it on, I heard a faint noise, and when I went to check it out, I found this. Wow, so the squirrel was hiding Seriously? the treasure. Guess so. By the way, there are more squirrels just like this one. I know. And they're all doing sorts of different things. Really? Yep. There's uh, one on the wall of that store over there. What store? Huh. I never noticed, or if I did, I dismissed it as some juvenile attempt at self expression. Could this possibly be a new mystery? I suppose you could consider it a mystery in the broadest possible sense. Mystery or not, it might be fun to keep a lookout for these squirrels. I've been doing that. Oh, copy what's doing. Yeah. <laughs> you give us the pop toys. Weird. Uh, okay, this has got my brain firing on all cylinders. I gotta go home and yeah. find that picture book. You do that. In the meantime, I'll see what I can find out on my end. Okay, great. See you later. Looks like she took off. Yep. Once she gets her, oh, uh, sorry. Once she gets her sights on something, there's really no stopping her. Maybe I should do the same and find more squirrels. Do it and let me know. My name is Futaba. Futaba Senoji. Thanks for your help today. <laughs> I'm Futaba, and you are. It's me. Well, aren't you polite? My name's Takayuki Yagami. Nice meeting you, Takayuki. Bye bye for now. Bye, Futaba. Be safe. Wait, was this the way to the other squirrel? <laughs> I need to work on my directions. Watch out for cars, okay? Alright, guess I'm looking for squirrels from now on. No need to go nuts over it, of course. <laughs> squirrels just want to have fun. What? Now I'm definitely curious about everything. Okay, good. It, like, shows it, but it'll check it off. That's good. Okay. What's this, then? Oh. What Wait. the? This drawing. 
where would one be? Oh god, are like the squirrels like somehow like there is there a fucking step? Oh no. Is that what the damn numbers have meant? Oh crap. Crap, crap, crap. Well, let's go by um survive bar, I guess. There's not a way down there, right? I don't think so. Uh, oh hey, what's up guys? Things are finally really starting to open up, huh? Just to make sure, like... Okay. How... I don't think I have a music option, right? Or, wait, items? What do I mean, valuables? No. Once I get, like, a portable one or something later. I guess the troublesome thing is, uh... It's just if There's I actually have the ability to do what the squirrels do. It's listening for some... Wait. Do, is that what I have to do now? I mean, that's fine. If so, I'm not, like... Okay, I guess so. I can hear it. Ah! Neat little ribbon. Takuki! Yeah. Uh, Futaba, hey there. Oh, did you yeah. get that from a squirrel? Actually, I did. When I found it, I immediately thought of someone who might like it. Huh? You mean <laughs> me? Yeah, as much as I like to pin this on my jacket, not happening. <laughs> oh, you're so nice. Here, why don't I give you this in return? I found this earlier and I have no idea what it's for. Hey, I'll take it. Nice find. Thanks. Let's trade again when yeah. we find some more cool stuff. Deal. Okay, then. Till next time. How's this going to work in Camarocho? Is she just going to be around? I don't know. I'm... 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 I am so... Beyond curious now with these damn squirrels. Holy crap. Damn this game. Damn this game. I'm so upset at it for being as eh, not girls bite uh good as it continues to be since starting to said the faculty meeting should be over now time to go back. no no not happening I need dog hey this drawing its tail. All right. Uh, gadgets, there you dog. Are. Who's a good boy? Good boy. Well, uh. Oh, right. Took control there for. Attaboy. Ah! The skill EX 
Winding crane's been unlocked. Boy. This might be useful. This is cool. Achievement. Very observant. Find 10 targets in observation mode. Oh, okay. And then there was one right by um, Yokohama 99. I like it. What could this be? Seeing a transmission. Here we go. Huh. Some kid sized shoes. Those sure aren't going on my feet. Yeah, it's Takayuki. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey there, Futaba. I figured there might be another score round, so I sprinted here as fast as I could. Um, but it looks like you got uh, got to it first. I figured you should start wearing the stuff, but I guess not. Yeah. True, at least this time. All right, I have something for you. It's... Try these on and see if they fit. I know I sure said I can't wear them. Wow, okay, then how about I trade you for what I found? I'm not really sure what this is for. You found a cheap Mahjong tile? <laughs> well, uh, you'll find out when you're older, but anyway, a trade's a trade. Sweet deal. <laughs> this is fun. Let's trade again when we yeah. go find more treasure. Sounds like a plan to me. Great. See you later. Okay. Ah, oh, there's another one! Damn it! Why, why you do this to me, game? I'm, I'm trying to be productive. I'm trying to stick on the story. But, oh, but then you're like, yo. But what is this? Finally, we're getting an answer to the squirrels. And what are the answers actually good? Sorry, I'm trying to get you hit by a car. Just, I'm very excited at things. Things are happening. Suspicious. What could this mean? Squirrel is taking a bug for a walk. Okay, well, that's easy enough, of course. There you are. Who's a good boy? Hey, pooch. Good boy. Recall dog. Anything? Uh, yep, got something. Good dog. Very good dog. A play pass. All right. It's not the most incredible find, but it's a good find. <sighs> We're cats. I don't remember finding any other immediate ones. Okay. Um, that's uh, cats. Um, and I don't. I don't want to go. Hunting specifically for that right now. That's that's definitely more of a on my own time or as I find them type deal. Not a you know. Let's make that two hours into the stream kind of experience. Okay, let's. But Amasawa did want to talk to us uh, about something. Possibly another. Club we could jump into? Oh. Let's find out. Ooh, or maybe about the K-Hang gang again? Oh god. Imagine. Honda. Yagami san. Yagami, thank you for coming. Hey, I was what do you want to ask me? Well, it's a rather long story. Is this a good time? Oh shit. Let's see what she has to say. Once you start the side case, everything else will be put on hold until you clear it. Proceed? Let's do it. Yeah. 
Yeah, sure thing. After all, I am the Thank MRC's outside much. counselor. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry, I got the burps. Uh, so this is about my classmate. Actually, I should go get him now. I'll be right back. Yoroshiku. Shimada? Nice to meet you. I'm uh, Hisa, Hisa Yoshi Shimada. A second here. I'm Yagami, the MRC's advisor. Nice to meet you. Hey. So what exactly do you need help with? Well, Yagami, do you believe in things like curses? Might what as well. was that? I'm sorry, what? Just a preface, the case is going to sound either mysterious or ridiculous, depending Sorry. on your answer. I know it's going to sound crazy, but please, you have to believe me. Just tell me what's going on first, then we'll see how it ranks with all the crazy things I've heard. Curse of the Amasawa Family Heirloom. Hey. Would you mind uh, starting us off, Shimada? So, uh, it's about this lucky cat I have at home. A lucky cat? You mean one of those statues of a cat waving its paw? Or like an actual yes. cat? The former, yes. They're said to bring good fortune, so you can spot them in all sorts of businesses. There are quite a few kinds. Most of them are said to bring good luck, but... But black, lucky cats are supposed to ward off bad luck in particular. Huh. 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 Didn't know they got that specific. The thing is, my lucky cat doesn't do any of that. It doesn't bring money or good luck, it just attracts mm -hmm. tragedies. Tragedies? Here, this is it. It's all beat up, yeah. It looks pretty old. Uh, my dad bought it from an antique dealer friend of his. Usually they're really expensive, especially the pre-war ones like this. But my dad's friend warned him at the time, this cat brings more bad luck than good. Yeesh, so why'd your dad buy the thing if it's supposed to be cursed? Uh, he collects all sorts of rarities, especially the stuff with interesting stories. He goes nuts for those. Mm. Sounds like uh, an interesting guy. He just collects bits and bobs. It's fine. But yeah, a lucky cat that brings more bad luck than good. I meant that's an intriguing hook. And, Yagami, the curse, or whatever it is, evidence is starting to pile up, making it seem real. Ever since acquiring that statue, the Shimadas have been uh, through one ordeal after that? another. Like what? like some pretty scary stuff. My dad got a really high fever all of a sudden and was touch and go for a bit. Our house caught on fire too. Wow, potential arson and serious illness. You weren't kidding, that's scary stuff. And my grades keep slipping ever since dad uh, bought the thing. I've never dropped below 10th place before this. So you're not taking any other, or doing any other things out of the norm? Hmm. Huh, is that really the statue's fault though? Well, you sure can't blame me for the ghost. Uh, one woke my dad in the middle of the night, standing right there huh? next to his bed. A uh, ghost did? He was dressed like an old-timey soldier and totally pale. Just stood there like he was at attention. But he kept moaning, give me back my cat. My dad thought he was dreaming, so he rolled over and went back to sleep. Mean? So, was yeah. it just a dream? I don't know, but the next day, that's when he started feeling awful. It's like he even I cursed see. or something. I see. Well, that would be unsettling, even if it was just a string of coincidences. My dad's still not out of the woods now that he's healthy either. He almost got run over by a car a couple days ago. It's still going on? This doesn't really sound like a coincidence anymore, but I don't know what it could be. At this point, it's probably safe to consider further misfortune inevitable. That may help us determine the cause before any irreversible damage is done. I'm telling you, it's the cat! Mm. Huh. Excuse me. Here's a question. If you're also creeped out by it, uh, why don't you just throw it away? throw it out? <sighs> it's my dad. He refuses to get rid of it. He says the previous owner was the famous author who met his demise because what? of the statue. So the statue was cursed even back then. Yeah, my dad said the guy died when he hit his head on it. Oof, that is quite the story. Apparently, this uh, his whole fan base is obsessed with the statue. That's why it's considered really valuable despite uh, the curse. Who's the author, by the way? Well, uh... Ki Kitan? Yep, Kitan Amasawa. He was a mystery novelist and my grandfather. Huh? What? Your grandfather? Oh, and you said hitting his head on the statue. So, uh... So this was the actual cat that, yes. you know... 
well, only if this is truly the exact same statue my grandfather mm -hmm. owned. So you don't know if this is actually the same well. one. Well, my grandfather's uh, has been missing. Uh, sorry, has been missing ever since he passed away about seven years now. Shortly after he died, my grandmother pawned it off. She always thought it was rather creepy. I see. I see. Can you tell from this picture if it's the same one as your grandfather's? <laughs> one second, I'm gonna blow my nose. Better. Ah. Mm, it's hard to tell from just a photo. This was also seven years ago. I see. But I do remember that the cat was cursed even back then. My grandfather was someone of a rarities collector himself. Of course, he jumped at the chance of owning a one-of-a-kind unlucky cat. Kitan Amasawa was famous for his somewhat bizarre tales of mystery. I can definitely imagine him wanting a statue like this. My grandfather was quite taken with it. He bragged about it quite a bit when I was little. But I'm sure he never imagined his life ending because of his unlucky cat. A lucky cat took the life of Amasawa's grandfather seven years ago, and now it's back, wreaking havoc for another family. Yagami, I'm not one to believe in the supernatural. All mysteries must be approached rationally, no matter how unusually they present themselves. That's what I firmly believe. Because logic is always found at the true core of any mystery. Right. That being said... But, that's also why my grandfather's unexplained death has also stuck with me for the past seven hmm. years. I assume the police photo was accidental, right? If that's the case, it kind of sounds pretty explained. No, actually, on the night my grandfather passed away, I also experienced a strange event. One that has no rational explanation and could only be considered a supernatural what? phenomenon. Really? What happened? I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to explain it. Let's just focus on finding out if this is actually the same gotcha. cat or not first. Sure, we can do that. Rare for Amasawa not to have the words. But this could be the actual statue that took her grandfather's life. I can see why it'd be so tough to talk about. Yagami, I am I am getting to the bottom of this case one way or another. It's, if something's causing all the tragedies around this... Wait, I'm sorry. If something's causing all the tragedies around this cat, there's a good chance more will occur. I don't want anything as awful as what happened to my grandfather to happen to anyone in the Shimada family. Makes sense to me. After all, you're all about preventing incidents before yes. they take place. Right, and not only that, this case is Yagami personal. Said. I'm Asawa. So, Yagami, would you please help me get yeah. to the bottom of this? I, I mean, I already decided five minutes ago, so. Yeah, of course, the MRC advisors you got much. your back. Thank you so much. Well, uh, to start with the investigation, first things first, I'd like to see yes. the statue in person. Good idea. Shimada, do you think your father would mind Ooh. showing it to us? Oh, yeah, I bet he'd uh, be over the moon to have one of Kitan Amasawa's descendants confirm the statue's the real deal. I'll give him a call now. He says, yeah, he'd love to meet you guys, in fact. Good to hear. Where should we meet him? I asked him to meet us at a cafe near the station. Posh? Plague? How the fuck you say it? Uh, it'll be faster than getting him signed in at the school's reception and everything and everything. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. I would have felt bad asking him to come all the way here anyway. Well, I'll make my way to the cafe now. Let's meet out front. Yagami -san. See you soon, Yagami. Okay. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That way? Let me get some water real quick. I am dying of thirst. I'll be back in just a moment or two. Ba -ba -ba.
All right, apologies about the wait. Got water, dogs got out. We are good. Let me look at it skill wise, by the way. 95,000? Damn. It's ridiculous. All right, uh. Oh, we're off then? <laughs> okay. Well, let's see if we can uh, discover the mystery behind this crushed item. Hmm. Yagami-san, would you say that you tail people often? I mean, Ooh, this is neat. it's a big part of the job. Do you have any tips for avoiding the target's suspicion? I tend to get made fairly quickly when tailing. What's an average high schooler tailing people for anyway? I just can't help myself when I pick up a lead. Kind of dangerous when you don't know your target, don't you think? But in the end, isn't it worth it if I can prevent an incident? No, not if it's something that puts your own life at risk. I somehow hadn't considered that. Oh, we're off then? Oh, kind of the same thing from uh, 7. Cool. All right, yeah, so we just want to head that way, and taxis are off. Okay. That shouldn't be a problem. Kids, skate. No, you pick it up, kid. You want to be a detective, right? You got to fucking hustle. Oh, that's a fight. You got to fight like this too. Watch. Just like that, kid. 756? Really oh my god. Hot pepper. I know you are. Ah, uh, yeah, so we just need to follow it all the way until we get to the first eatery. Maybe purple. Huh. Did you guys make me stinky? What happened here? Anyway, I had no idea you had such a famous grandfather. Are you surprised? No. If anything, it's obvious that you're his granddaughter. Well, now I'm feeling the pressure. As a descendant of Kitan Amasawa, you should become the kind of detective that make him proud. For that to be possible, I need to take on as many cases as possible to hone my instincts. But what if you blundered into a case and ended up making a fool of yourself? Would that make Grandpa proud? Uh... The more I hold back, though, the more curious I get. Once I've caught a whiff of a mystery, the Amasawa blood in me starts pumping. It's quite a burden you wound up inheriting. Hmm. I really wish that there were more conversations like that, you know? Sacred pod. Sorry, pal. Oh, Yagami, Amasawa. Ah, you're Kitan Amasawa's grandchild, right? Yes, nice to meet you. I'm Kyoko Amasawa. Oh. Shimada, uh, Mikio Shimada. My son told me all, uh, about you. Thank you for being such a good senpai to him. I must say, I'm surprised seeing you here for the first time. You definitely have Amasawa blood in you. You're like a heroine uh, ripped straight from one of his novels. I can already tell you're not just a nice face. You're as smart as a whip too, aren't you? Playing out a little thick there. Huh? Oh, really? Come on, Dad, cut it out. Oh, my apologies, and uh, who's Yagami. this with you? I'm Takayuki Yagami, outside counselor for the Mr. Uh, MRC. 
I'm primarily a detective in Camarocho. Oh, a genuine detective. This is just getting better. The season private eye uh, trawling the seedy underbelly, seedy underbelly of the city with his wonderkind teen sidekick. Man, I already want to buy the whole series. <sighs> I'm really sorry about my dad. Let's head inside, huh? <gasps> the squirrel! Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! They can be inside places too! Damn it! So, for the mystery at hand, may we see the unlucky Dick. cat statue? Yes, of course, here. Damn squirrel. So, this is it. Uh, I brought it to a taping of that TV appraisal show a few days ago. They couldn't determine whether or not it belonged to Kitan Amasawa, though. But, if it turns out to be the real deal, it's supposed to be worth 2 million yen. <laughs> what? 2 million yen? Dick. I mean, considering its legacy, it's basically the holy grail to his fan base. But still, two Amazawa. million? Do you think you could tell if it's actually your grandfather's Amazawa? Please, feel free to inspect it. In that case, allow me. Uh, oh. oh, this deep red stain. No way. Is, is that from when your grandfather... Uh, no, it's from when I splashed ketchup on it when what? I was little. Ketchup. Yeah, I've been eating a hot dog in a study and got ketchup all over the room. Well, eating may not be accurate, more like swinging around like a sword. I was really into uh, this historical drama at the time. My grandfather and I watched it together. Sounds like you were quite a little hellion that being kid. Said. But this stain, I don't know if anything else could make it clear to me that this is my grandfather's statue. Whoa, I <laughs> knew it. You can get millions for this? Seriously? Wow, talk about the score of a lifetime. Excuse me. Sorry if this question comes across a bit strange, sir, but I must ask. Does this statue ever make a noise? Maybe like a meow? Huh? Does my cat statue meow? What meow. makes you ask? Well, the thing is, on the night my grandfather died seven years ago, I heard it. Mm. This cat mm -hmm. meowed at me. Ugh. <sighs> Some water, sir. Are you serious? Amasawa, is this the supernatural phenomena you yes. referred to hey. before? Yes. Could you give us some more details? Sorry, I know this must be hard. No, I understand. We have to do it for the case. This is the first time I've seen Amasawa like this. Amasawa. Uh, you said your grandfather's death was ruled an accident. Was there even a slight chance that it was yes. actually a crime? The police came and checked the scene, but they said they couldn't find anything suspicious. Besides, it happened in a locked room. Not only was the door to the study inaccessible, but the crescent lock but the crescent locks on all the windows were still secure. Locked room Hold on. A locked room death and a cursed statue. This is sounding more and more like one of Kitan Amazawa's books. Uh what's a crescent lock? Seriously? The most common kind of uh, window lock in homes. For a reason, they get the job done. Um, I doubt the windows. I doubt the windows were a point of entry for anyone that night. Oh, okay. Since the police didn't see any signs of a break-in or even a struggle, they really had no recourse but to rule the death an accident. So it's doubtful this was a burglary gone wrong. Afterwards, the unlucky cat creeped out the whole family enough that my grandmother pawned it off. Unsurprisingly, the family lost track of the statue after that, so I never expected to see it again like this. Damn, squirrel Masawa. So, you're saying you definitely heard the meow of a cat on the night, uh, on the night your grandfather yes. died? Yes, I have no doubt. I believe it was around 1.30 in the morning. I woke in the middle of the night to get a glass of water and passed by my grandfather's study. That was when I heard a meowing sound uh, come from the room. Did your grandparents have a pet cat, or maybe it was a stray no. outside the window? No, they didn't have any cats, and I definitely would have known if a stray had gotten in. Uh, with Rampo in the yard, no no cats uh, could have gotten by without him barking up a storm. Your dog's over seven years old? What's with the dog? And I distinctly, distinctly, I guess she did say before that she had raised him since she was... Anyway, sorry. Uh, and I distinctly remember the sound 
being loud enough to come from uh, the room, not Seriously? from outside the house. Creepy. What's even creepier is I can remember my grandfather telling me more than once when that cat cries, mis misfortune what comes that? calling. What? I was given strict orders to never approach the study if I ever heard a cat meowing in there. That's why once I heard uh, that cat, I ran back to my room and hid, terrified. And the next day, my grandfather was... That must have been so hard. If I had just been brave enough to go in the room instead of running, I could have... Maybe I could have prevented my grandfather hey. from dying. Seven years ago, you were only about 11, right? Don't blame yourself for being scared. A truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. I wonder if her grandfather's own incident has anything to do with Amasawa taking that saying so seriously. Shimada, thank you for going out of your way to help us today. Oh no, it's my pleasure. Did you find any clues? Maybe even a lead now? Uh, fortunately, I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. Is that a sewer grade opening? Look out! Oh. He's a scout today. What the? Ah, uh, are you okay? I'm so sorry. I guess it wasn't secured all the way. W was that the unlucky cat? No way. Dad, please, what's it gonna take for you to get rid of that statue? <laughs> Even I'm starting to get freaked out by this. Well, we should get home. Thanks again for today. Excuse me. Actually, sir? Please and thank you. Yes? Would you mind leaving the statue with us for a while? <laughs> what? Leave yes. it with you? Yes, until we can debunk the curse. But aren't you worried? This curse is starting to look pretty real deal to me. My grandfather once said curses only blight their believers. Did he now? Yes. He also said you must never succumb to the marvel of a mystery. You must keep your wits about you. Despite my age, he imparted his... Oh, sorry, buddy. I didn't know you were there. He imparted his philosophy of mystery solving to me before his death, and I hold the truths he shared with me in the highest regard. As Kitan Amasawa's grandchild, I cannot back down from these strange events and turn away from a genuine mystery. I refuse to believe in this curse, therefore it will have no effect on my pursuit of the truth. But, still, uh, not only that, this is a mystery that needs solving by an Amasawa. Oh, Amasawa. When I heard that meow seven years ago, I ran from the truth and the result was absolutely horrible. I'll never make that same mistake again. Okay, if that's the case, I'll leave it with you. Please find a way to break the curse before something Thank bad you very happens much. again. Thank you so much, sir. Excuse me. By the way, I heard that you bought the statue from a friend who runs a second-hand shop. Which one would that be? Uh, Ibisu a pawn in, in, in Jinchio. Uh, Ibisu Pawn, got it. I'll go speak with him now. Thanks again. I almost thought I was really into this case. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, considering. Well... I should st uh, step up my advising efforts uh, for her on this one. Watch out. But wait. Nope, wait. Please let me in. Please let me in. Where's the goddamn thing? I can also eat. Ooh. Alma Rice. Starving. I'm starting to feel it. Pretty tasty. Thanks. Arigato. There it is. What the? What could this mean? Bingo. So it's the signal. Camo pick. Okay. Fifty to go. Jesus. And now, no, that's Ben Ten. Where, where's uh, Popo? No, it's the homeless camp. That's Ichiban. Also, Teak Farm. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Uh, just need to go up the street a little bit. Okay. Let's go. 
Nope, you hustle. Oh god, we're gonna die. No! You gotta hurry, kid! Part of being a detective! Solving mysteries, you gotta get there! You get by these guys? Probably not. Wait, where's the entrance? The B? Where's the B? Uh, okay, we can get by him. Hello. Excuse me. Hello, is this a bad time? I'm from Yagami Detective Agency. I'm Yagami. I uh, would like to ask you a few questions. Oh, oh a detective? It's a pleasure. I'm his assistant's ki uh, assistant, Kyoko Amasawa. You're his assistant, a high schooler? Is there a yeah. problem? No, not particularly. Uh, what is it you wanted to ask? We're looking into this uh, lucky cat statue for uh, Mikio Shimada. He says he knows you. Ah, this is for Shimada. What? Damn it. I think, I think he said, would you mind if we ask some questions about it? Uh, this palm broker friend of mine closed up his shop, so I uh, bought his remaining inventory. He couldn't vouch for the statue's authenticity, though. Well, we know it's the real deal now, but maybe we aren't filling him in on that. Might make a mess of things. You don't happen to know who sold the cat to your friend originally, do you? Nah, sorry. He told me he'd been it been passed around a bunch uh, before it ended up in his shop, but he didn't know any specifics. Probably why he couldn't often uh, authenticate the thing. I see. Thanks anyway. Oh, one last question. This might sound odd, but uh, when you still had the statue in the shop, did anything strange ever happen eh? here? Strange? You mean the curse? Nah, I don't buy into stuff like that. Nothing ever happened here to make me change my mind either. Mm. Nothing at all. You sure? Nope. Uh, the guy I got the statue from never mentioned any of the sort. Although, I suppose he might have uh, just not wanted to sound crazy. Oh, I see. Yagami, does this mean the so-called curse didn't begin until Shimada's, uh, Shimada's father yeah. acquired the statue? Yeah, sounds like it anyway. Hmm? Huh? What's... Yagami-san! Yagami! Serious? It's on fire! Huh? Really? Mm. Ah, get the fire extinguisher! Yeah. Yeah, we got the fire out right away, but we seriously have no idea where it came from. Just whoosh! Out of nowhere. <sighs> Glad that didn't get any worse. Yagami, what do you think started mm. that fire? I have to say, the number of incidents around this cat is getting ridiculous. I don't think this is co coincidence mm -hmm. at all anymore. Hang on, do you smell something? Gasoline? Gas. That wouldn't mean there's a chance that the fire earlier was actually yes. arson. Agreed. Yagami, what do you say we search the scene really quick before yeah. the police get here? Yeah, let's check and observe for any traces in the area. Keep sharp for anything like gasoline trails or containers. So, I think this is gonna be the uh, dad making uh, a literal self-fulfilling prophecy. I don't see any fire here, though. Like, nothing's burned. Uh, is it the outside? Don't, don't, don't have me be like crazy stupid like okay. I was before. Oh, what the? Hmm? What's this? Something is dripping here. Guess. I'd wager it's gasoline based on the color yeah. and smell. Yeah, it goes all the way uh, to the alley. Let's see if we can track it. Where's the. Wait. 
dead bit. Yeah, it is. It's really hard to see. Hey. <gasps> ah. Plastic bottle? Side, more gasoline. Which so. means. Yeah. Does this mean. Yep, the fire at the pawn shop was actually arson. But who's the culprit and why? No idea, but let's fill, uh, fill in the police and the guy at the shop that will be found first. Excuse me. Yagami, how should we proceed with the investigation from here? Well, uh, now that we know the fire at the pawn shop was intentionally set, what I'd love to do is pin down what? our little fire boat. Pin them down how yeah. exactly? Well, I don't know anything about them, but uh, they're obviously after the statue. Maybe we could just lure them out somehow? <laughs> Saw enough idea. Where should we start? Huh. I suppose just uh, meandering around town ought to do it. Considering how quickly the pawn shop was hit, I can't imagine it taking mm -hmm. long. I see. Some genuine hard-boiled legwork, huh? A lot ris riskier than my usual investigations. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely going to be more dangerous than I like. That's why you ought to head back to... I think not. Please allow me to continue on ah. the case. I'm a solid. Please, this is... You. I need to solve this myself, Yagami. Gotcha. Please! Okay, but you really have to be careful and keep your distance when we're in public. Got it? I'm basically a walking tragedy magnet carrying yes. around the thing. Yes, I promise I'll be safe. So, where should we head next? Preferably somewhere that makes it easy to watch our backs while we kill time. How about we play darts? That's great! I think I got some miracle darts! What? You want to play darts? Why? Only one person has to take uh, their eye off the surroundings at a time. And if someone does come after us, you can always counter with some darts to the face. Nah. Okay, I had to give you points for the overall plan, but darts to the face? Make no mistake, I'm actually quite good at the game. My aim's solid enough to be able to hit a, hit a human head. Mm-hmm. Nope. So I think it'd be best if I handled any incoming threats. And if you just don't say that kind of thing to someone, maybe. Right, well, uh, after you? Well, we're not out here to play games, but uh, this case has also been a pretty big weight on Amasawa. Maybe it'd do her some good to blow off steam. Okay. Sure, let's play for a bit. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for any suspicious individuals along the way, especially if they're approaching you. I'll be careful. At least a small place will definitely see anyone coming for us here. Again, our darts. Nah, we got... They are the best darts. Damn. Here we go. Let's keep it simple. Time to step it up. I'm not gonna hold back. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Oh no. Oh, easy now. Those? Yep. Oh, that was a single shit. Uh oh. Nice. Fuck, that was bad. Whoops. She's gonna kill me, watch. Uh. Oh, maybe not. Mm. Ah, lame. Impressive. Okay. Mm. You just like faking me out with that okay. first throw? time Easy now. Nice. 21 just need a triple seven she can't win on uh, this next set so that's in my favor I suppose Let's tone 
my turn then. Okay, seven. Easy now. <gasps> yep. <laughs> Barrels. You can't win them all. There we go. All right. Yeah, not bad, <laughs> young man. Should I have gone easy on you? Oh, Myself. don't rub it in. So, did you see anyone suspicious yet? <gasps> I, uh, I kind of got too into the game and forgot to look around. Oh, come on, you seriously weren't looking? I guess I sort of got into the zone there too, though. Uh, looks like darks didn't make for the best cover activity. We should shift gears. Uh, what would mm -hmm. work better for us? Good idea. Uh, where can we watch out for potential assailants? How about the batting if center? I were to guess. Right there. Uh, we're still able to see anyone approaching us. In fact, this could uh, be even better in the darks. If one person does all the batting, the other can observe our surroundings without losing concentration on the game. Isn't that literally what we were just doing? Wasn't that the original proposition? Uh huh. And even better, our bat makes for a much more effective defensive weapon I than darts. I see. Well, I'll handle the defense part for us, but let's get over there before something bad can happen to us here. Speaking of burdens, have you been studying for your exams? Hold on. Uh. Oh God. That is something I try not to think about too much. Obsessing over road memorization would affect my reasoning skills. Well, I reason that you shouldn't let your club activities get in the way of your studies. I admit that's also something I try not to think about. That doesn't sound like the Amasawa I know. You gotta face the facts sometime. Oh, stop it! Oh, brother. I'm coming with you! <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, well, let's just get over there. Um... And just best to get around this and, uh... Divert back. Oh. See you, Tang. Whoa! Sir! Fire? What a waste. Okay. Step me up a little, huh? Oh shit. Uh, they're gonna see me, aren't they? No, you're going too slow. We've covered this. Uh, I wonder if we can get around this way? Maybe? There would have been a uh, squirrel here. Wait for me, please. No. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, ah, there's one. What the? Destroying. Now, can I call good the boy? Dog? I can. Who's a good boy? Come on, Rampo. There you are. Good dog. Very good dog. Silver plate. It's alright. Not as useful as I might have hoped, but eh, it's alright. Okay. Right, let's get rid of that batting set. Yes, you can! Good detectives gotta be able to, uh, you know, have high running endurance. Oh, shit. Excuse me while I beat up some of your uh, classmates. I don't think these kids even got a hit in? Shit. 
Oh god, there's so many goons. You guys need to stay away from your own health right now. Shit. Most kids are going to goons. I could have uh, run off the wall there. Nope. Really, guys? Come on. Oh, dear lord. Game, give them a chance to, like, live. Please. Nice, made it safely. <laughs> uh, let's get right into it so we don't look suspicious. Right, acting natural. All right, Slugger, show, uh, mm -hmm. show me what you got. Huh? You're not gonna bat, Amasawa? Eh, let's just say I'm more uh, literally inclined than athletically inclined. Pretty sure I'm gonna book for doing a bat. Still, a bit too hard-boiled of a detective work for my taste. Okay, just keep an eye out while I swing a few. Can't have anyone sneaking yes. up on us. Right, leave it to me. Take the serenity bat. Sure, we'll try uh, that. We got fastballs, one team, change up, and a hard slider. Oh, shit. I love this music. Here we go. Alright. Oh, shit. I'm kidding. <laughs> Huge a target. Nice. Yeah. Cool. What else you got? Basketball? Oh, God. Change up, bastard. Fastball now? Huh. Yes, sir. Nice. Huh. Yep. Pretty all right. Huh. Ugh. Uh. God, I hate the change up. It's so damn slow. Damn. Huh. Nice. Ten. Ten out of ten. I'm out. What do I need to get? All ten? Mm. Let's say it wasn't bad. Hmm? Oh? Are you having fun on an off day? Wait, are you having an off day? Sorry. I guess so. Kind of weird. Usually I get a few more hits than, than that. Well, it happens to us all, I suppose. Great, the bookworm has to make me feel better here. Sure worked up a sweat in there. Have some water. Oh, thank you. Hey. So, any luck on your end? Spot anyone? 
Yeah, about that. I've seen a few somewhat suspicious people, but no one who seems to be paying us any attention. Let's see. Uh, why don't we take a short break for now? Okay. This is a long sub story. I mean, they uh, more or less said, said as much, but damn. Hey. Hey, Elisama, can I ask you something? What is it? Is your grandfather the reason you started the yes. MRC? Yes, in fact, he's the reason I, reason I grew so obsessed with mysteries in general. He's been a very big influence in my life. So, do you see yourself becoming a mystery author in the future? I certainly hope so. No, more than that? I believe it's something I must do. Yes. Really? Yes, truth be told, my dream is to complete his unfinished huh. masterpiece. Oh, do you have an unfinished manuscript of this? I do. When he passed away, he was in the midst of completing the final entry of his most popular series. He got roughly halfway through the draft, but he didn't write anything about the most crucial part, the dual reveal of the culprit that and the said. method. He didn't leave any notes uh, behind that even hint towards what they could be, so no one knows how he meant to finish the book. Sounds like you got some real work on your hands. Indeed. Although I recently realized something that could be uh, the potential answer huh. to the mystery. Damn, you really are good. Heh, <laughs> I'll have to send you a copy someday for that one. Let me know if you figure it out before mm -hmm. you get to the end. Hmm? Excuse me. Huh? Mm -hmm. Trade out cats? Hey. Hey, what's going on? Nagami, please keep eye contact and pretend we're just huh? chatting. Well... Why? There's a man across the street who keeps looking at us. Hmm? There is? Uh, now that I think of it, he was at the arcade too. What? He followed us here? Yes. Seems so. Uh, he wasn't acting suspicious there at first, but later, when I uh, took off of the statue and hid from his sight, he was looking around in a panic, like he lost sight of something. So you think he's been after us the whole time? Yes, Excuse I presume me. so. Yagami, how about we take a bit of a calculated risk? What does you want yes. to calculate? If I stay here and distract him, would you be willing to slip out and loop back around him? That way you can catch him before he has a chance I to see. escape. Okay, I see. Yeah, that's a solid plan. I'll, I'll get over to him real quick. Gotta find that back door first. That's easy enough. So it's just those squirrels. Uh, okay. He'll definitely see me coming from here. How can I sneak up on him without getting caught? Need to uh, where is he at here? Huh? That jet uh, uh, records me, I guess uh he did see with Amasawa. Uh oh wait, wait wait. Is this where I can actually use a damn disguise? Oh shit. <laughs> America. Oh, cool, we do get the bartender. We gotta do it, right? Yeah, we have to. Yeah! Alright, this outfit should do it. Uh, I'll <laughs> move slowly enough uh, to not cause attention. Yeah! Moving slowly will do it. Hey. Mm -hmm. Hey, huh? Who are you? I am a vampire! Oh. Wait, you're with that girl! And you're the firebug at the pawn shop, Yaku right? Huh. Amasawa, keep away! Ha! Huh. The cat! The lucky cat! Oh, do you want this? Mm -hmm. I, uh... You want it because it's evidence, right? Because of what's still on it? Ah! You saw it! You <laughs> saw it?! Saw so, what, pray tell? Is there something on this cat that could put you away for good, perhaps? Uh, what? Excellent bluff, Emma. So I'll let you let him right where you wanted him. Hey. What? 
And now we have the final confirmation. So, what is it on the cat that could get you in so much trouble? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You tried to burn down a pawn shop over this thing. What's on the cat that you need gone so badly? Who, who knows? Answer us. What do you know about the Kiten Amasawa's about Kiten Amasawa's death? Hey, I said stay back. Ah. Huh? Yeah. Hand it over. What? How dare you? Oof. Kicking the shin. Amasawa. Jeez, Amasawa, I thought you said you weren't suited for the hard boil <laughs> work. Heh. <laughs> Suppose I was a bit rambunctious when I was little. Uh, still have what it takes to raise a bit of hell when needed. You. You fuckers! I'm just gonna kill you both and take the thing! Okay, Amasawa, it's my job from here on. Stay back. Seriously. I'm gonna see if I can't get that knife from you. Uh-huh. <laughs> 50,000 yen! Damn. Hmm. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Great, he's out cold. Let's tie him up, just in case. That ought to do it. Oh, it got all gross. It already was! Hmm. Yagami, uh, considering how this man reacted to the cat, way to guess. I believe there's at least one secret to yeah. it that we don't know. Yeah, one that neither your family or the police knew about yes. at the time either. And if that's the case, it's not going to be easy to discover. But I can't say that there's absolutely nothing to it. After all, it was one of my grandfather's most cherished uh, rare possessions. Yagami, why don't we give it another thorough look over? Yeah, good idea. Suspicious. Thanks. Costume. Ah. Hmm? There's a slight gap around the neckline. Really? A gap? I thought it was all uh, one big molded piece. Look, right there. It's more apparent now that it has mud in it. Um, it must have been from when it got dropped in mm. How odd. What could be in there? Oh. This eyeball jiggles a little. Actually, I could push it in a bit, too. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Interesting, interesting that the eyes are actually separate parts. But why make something so elaborate? Huh. I'm not so sure. Or I'm not sure. A jiggly eye and a gap around the neck. I wonder if they have any means? function. You know, if the eyes and the neck are... Could it be... An eye for the truth will eventually find the way. Hold on to that keen eye and take a look what around that? you. A good look around you. Sorry. Uh, um, what? Sorry, I just rem remembered my grandfather saying this once while holding the cat. He said it with pride, but it always stuck out as somewhat odd. To guess. Me. Maybe he was giving me a hint all the way back then? And to how yes. the cat works? Sometimes he'd give me clues to see if I could pick up on a mystery um, I as see. a sort of game. I see, but what do you think he meant by it? Hmm. Perhaps we're, sp we're supposed to hold on to the eye and make the head go around? Um... Look around. Yeah, we should, uh, hold the loose eye in place and spin in the head. In other words... Oh, I see. You hold on to the keen eye and make the head take a good look around. Yeah, like what she said three times. Yes. Right, leave it to the wordsmith, huh? Let's say we give it a try. Oh, it turned. Yarm? Yagami, look! Oh. Whoa. It just... It meowed. So, it's a trick statue? I bet this is what your grandfather was hinting at. Yes, of course, but no one in my family had any idea it could do that. It appears... Yes, it has a secret compartment. Looks empty, though. Huh? Smudge. No, a fingerprint? and a dark red stain, all dried up. 
Is, is it? Yeah, no mistaking it this time. That's blood. Oh, I'm so screwed. No way. Then let me take a guess. That fingerprint's yours. Uh. And this blood belongs to Kita and Amasawa, doesn't it? Hey. Answer me. What do you know about this? Kita and Amasawa. My grandfather, did you have something to do with his death? Your grit. Oh, I see. You're that man's granddaughter, huh? <laughs> you think his granddaughter would be the one who caught me seven whole years later? Please, answer me. <laughs> Guess there's no getting away from this now. And I'm... I'm just so tired. Fine. Fine, I'll tell you. I'm still in the costume! <laughs> Alright, let's hear the truth about what happened to Kita and Amasawa. Finally, Amasawa and the rest of her family can get some closure. Uh, why'd you want the cat? If I have this right. Uh, so you want to get the statue... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so you want to get the statue back so you could, uh, clean out the compartment. Yeah, that's right. I didn't know for sure there was a fingerprint mm -hmm. in it, though. Really? You mean you did all this just to be cautious? Yep. I was wearing gloves that night, so I'll, I wasn't thinking about fingerprints. But once I got away from the scene, I saw I had to tear my glove and my finger was covered in, in blood. In other words. So, you worried that you left some kind of trace at the scene. <clears throat> Later, I read that the police ruled it said that an accident, so I knew they didn't find any... I knew they didn't find any prints. Oh, excuse me. But that secret compartment that could have been a game changer, there was a solid chance I left a trace of of being in there. And it, uh, all it'd take was for one person to figure out the statue secret and I'd be screwed. How? At, at that point, they might know a murder happened, but they have no idea as to how the hell to find you. Yeah, I, I'm just saying, you, you potentially could have got away Scott Furry. Anyway, that's why I tried so hard to get the cat, but it fell off the map pretty quickly. Uh, for seven whole years, that damn cat's been the one thing on my mind. And all of a sudden, about a month ago, I see the fucking thing on TV. The cat I see in my nightmares all the time. All right, we did hear about it getting appraised on TV at some point. Let me tell you, I was shitting myself watching that fancy pants appraiser looking it over with his uh, little magnifying glass thing. If he popped that compartment open on TV... <sighs> so you saw the current owner of the statue on the appraisal show, and that's when you tried to get it back from him. Right. Uh, the incident. It happened seven years ago, like you know. Um, oh, sorry. I was uh, up past my eyeballs and dead. I needed a lot of money, and I needed it by sunrise. That's when I spotted the biggest mansion in the whole neighborhood. I heard some kooky uh, famous author live there. So you snuck into the house that night? Yep. Uh, the place was huge, and all the lights were off. Figured I wasn't that getting caught. Said. But Rampo was in the yard. Our dog. I'm sure he would have barked at you. He was too busy chowing down on the rice ball I tossed him. Yeah, pretty classic. <sighs> Oh, Rampo, sometimes you're too hey. sweet. What'd you do next? I went looking for a study as fast as I could. I assumed all the real goods would be either stashed away or on display in there. It was late enough that I figured everyone would be asleep. But when I found the study and peeked inside, I saw the old man just barely lit up with a candle. He fiddled around with the cat's head, opened the thing up, and what? took something out. What was it? I couldn't believe it. Inside the cat... The old man had a bar of gold. A bar of gold? Uh, the way he was grinning at it, I knew it was real. It had to be worth millions. I jumped at him without even thinking. We tussled for a bit, so I grabbed the cat and I, I whacked him in the head with it. You... how could you? Then you took the gold and ran off. Yeah, thought I was going to be made for life, damn it. And in, and in the end, the goddamn loan shark just swiped it from me and pretended it never happened. But how'd you get out? The study was locked when the police arrived. Oh, that. Locked room. 
I panicked after accidentally offing the guy. Uh, this went from a simple robbery to a potential homicide fast. Uh, I made myself focus and I came up with an idea. I'd use the cat's arm gimmick to make the whole thing look huh? like an accident. What do you mean? You'll see. Uh, it should happen any time now. Huh? What? It closed? It was smart, that old man. Uh, it's built so it closes back up automatically. Uh, the arm sprang back up with surprising force. Yep, that's what I used. Uh, oh. oh, I see. You rigged it to the window, didn't you? Yep, uh, sounds... Sounds like the apple didn't, uh, fall fra Fall? Far Amasawa. from the tree. Mind explaining, Amasawa? It's pretty simple. If I were to guess... What I imagined happened was, he sacked up some books by the window and put the statue on top, with its arm lowered, mind you. I also assume he arranged uh, the books rather unstably so it would collapse. Oh, that's a different crescent lock than I think. Mostly just different in its position. Uh, by placing the cat in the right spot, its paw would shoot upwards and engage the window lock, effectively sealing the room. Uh, he must have slipped out the window after quickly arranging the scene, uh, then waited, hoping to see the gimmick play out as he had planned before he could be caught. When the time arrived, the paw shot up, whacking the window lock closed. With enough force to knock over both the cat and the stack of books. Jesus. Ah! Oh, going full on uh, ace attorney here with the diagram, huh? Okay. Uh, this is when the window right in front of the spot where my grandfather laid. Uh, the scene must have ended up looking like my grandfather had fallen and hit his head I on the statue. I get it now. Which means... Uh, that gold bar must have been my grandfather's secret savings. It explains why he never told any of us about how the cat worked. It explains why he tried to scare me away from the room if I ever heard it meow. Uh-huh. Ugh. Can't blame your family for never finding out. I doubt anyone would have checked for secret treasure before getting rid of uh, what they thought was a regular creepy statue. The curse of the lucky cat statue, all due to a secret my grandfather took to the grave. Finally, I know the truth. <laughs> Just like a mystery writer would hope, I would have been really screwed if uh, you were this smart as a kid. But again, but it's like, seriously, there was no way in hell they would have known. All you had to do was like, never, ever, like, engage with this. <sighs> Hold on, uh, does that mean you're the one causing all the trouble for the Shimada family? <laughs> Probably, yeah. First I tried sinking into their place to get it back, but the guy just woke up on me. When I told him to give me back the cat, he thought I was a ghost and straight up passed out. Well, he did say um, that he started uh, suffering a mysterious illness after that night. A high fever, to be specific. A fever? Oh, that's no mystery. Ugh, I hope it's over soon. My mouth is... My tongue is so worn out from this. Ugh. I had a cold that night. Must have given it to him. Well, I suppose that explains that part. But you're not just responsible for getting the guy sick. You tried to burn their house down too, didn't you? Well, if I uh, were to guess. Oh, since the intimidation failed, you thought you could just resort to torching the evidence? Civilians be damned. Are you the one who tried to run over Shimada too? And the one who caused the accident outside the cafe the other day? <laughs> you really are good, kid. I figured if the owner died, his family would just get as creeped out uh, as the last one and get rid of the thing, you know? A scumbag. Then what about Shimada's grades dropping? <laughs> okay. Huh? What about what? Guess he doesn't have anything to do with that one. Fear makes mountains of molehills. Uh, because they were so convinced misfortune would befall them, even the most harmless things were perceived as part of the curse. I still can't believe the statue had a secret compartment the whole time, let alone a gold bar at one point. 
Oh, excuse me. At least I can finally chalk a non uh, supernatural cause up to the meowing yeah. I heard that night. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Still in costume. <laughs> Just realized. Jesus fuck. <laughs> Yagami will not drop it. <laughs> oh man. If you think about it, the curse attached to the statue is just another layer of security for my grandfather. Not only does it have a secret compartment with a gimmick to opening it, uh, but it even has an ominous story surrounding it designed to drive people away. Perhaps this amused my grandfather enough to make uh, this one of his cherished, cherished possessions. I'm a salad. I can see that. At any rate, Amasawa, I'm glad you were able to get to the bottom of what really happened yes. with your grandfather. I agree, truly. I can't... I can't tell you the weight of... I can't tell you the weight that's been lifted off my shoulders. And it's all thanks to you, Yagami. Oh, I don't know. You were really sharp on the, on this case, too, Amasawa. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you're the one who figured out the trick to opening the cat. Not only that, you solved the locked room murder right after learning who did it. That's true, but still. You know what, Amasawa? I sort of feel like your grandfather was hoping you'd solve the statue's mystery all along. Think about it. Why else would he ask you a riddle about the statue while holding it if he wanted to keep it a secret to everyone? What? Huh? Uh, even with what was in it? If I'd solved the mystery, I'd find out what's inside. Well, maybe it was meant to be a gift for future you, or like a prize award to full-grown detective Yoko Amasawa. I see. So when I don't fall victim to lies and push past the fear, I can find a glimpse of the truth. <laughs> that definitely sounds like my grandfather. Uh, that gold might be gone, but you still grew to become a fine detective and solve the genuine mystery, just like your grandfather predicted. I'm sure he's proud. Uh, I'm sure he's proud of you wherever he is. <laughs> I sure hope so. Well, Grandpa, are you? <laughs> Stupid. Stupid damn costume. Okay, cool. So, um, unfortunately, as much as I would like to keep going right now, that has kind of worn me out. Just a super long sub story and all that. So, I am going to call it here. Um, when we come back, I will have definitely, uh, oh my god, look at that. I'll, I'll use up, uh, some of these to buff ourselves some more. Um, I might run around town and find what squirrels I can and all that. Um, yeah. But I'm definitely going to take a little bit of time. I, it might not be tomorrow when I stream again. Potentially just get my myself a little bit of rest. Or maybe we'll focus even harder on the story. We'll see. But anyway, thank you so much to anyone who was here for the stream. I appreciate it. And as usual, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.